The thoughts, views, and opinions expressed by this podcast as well as its hosts are for entertainment purposes only. I repeat, it is not serious. It is not real. No one is exposing, revealing, indicting, or telling you anything about themselves. Also, we do not encourage you to try this at home. We are trained professionals who do not have your best interests at heart or our own. <laughs> Enjoy the show. Yo, that's scary. Your baby moms let him go. You gotta talk different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta you talk your, different. Lower your voice a little bit. You taking that check over there? He you go. got. He go. You, you gotta know. That's why you gotta know what you like and what you don't like. I can't date a bitch that's a killer. Yeah, yeah nah. that's different. I'm good on that. <laughs> Yo, who you raising your voice at though? I'm just saying. <laughs> You pipe right on down. <laughs> she back out and Let's just talk about shit on the this. table or something. Let's talk nah, about I'm this. Cool. When she leave, you get quiet again. Yeah, or, I'm get loud again. Yeah, that's why I start talking <laughs> my I'll shit. Get loud again. When she leave, leave where? You think I'm living with her? <laughs> she might be at your crib. Nigga, she don't want She won't be at my crib. She popped up. It's killer rules in effect. I ain't going nowhere. What you gonna say? Huh? <laughs> she say I ain't going that, nowhere. That, that's what, what he gonna say. say. Oh, I'm huh? leaving. <laughs> No, no, I'm leaving. It's your house now. No, you got it. You got it. I, I can't. You're do the it, captain buddy. now. You got oh, it. Oh man, that is crazy, though. That, is that odd? I don't want to psychoanalyze yes. it. Is that odd? What for us to be like that, or for her to be a killer? Both. <laughs> men, yo, men, men out there listening, could you date a girl that is a stone cold murderer? No, no. But why? She, Man, what, she love cool. you. <laughs> yeah, but what? Yeah, well, what, what happened? What happened? She don't love me no more. You can't break up with her. Is she a hothead murderer? Or is you she can't like... break up. I don't give a fuck what you talking yeah. about. Breakups are emotional. Yep. You can't break up. She got, you got to trick her to break up with you, man. You got to get no, close. No. How you going to do that? How you, yeah. you going to do that? Now you done pissed her off. You done cheated on her. Now she, she got to cheat on me. She going to pop you and Shorty. <laughs> nah, I'm good. What the fuck you talking about? What? I'm good. Mm-mm. You got we, that. We, we pussy. <laughs> You're right. You got Super. that. You got that. Yeah, yeah. Oh god. You got to be a killer to date to date that. Then y'all in the crib, Mister and Mrs. Smith shooting Word. at each other. Okay, yes. no, I figured out what I would do. I would have. I would. I would be the vault. I, I'd have all the dirt on Shorty, and I would hang that overhead. Yo, you get crazy. I will tell the police. Nigga. <laughs> no, no, please, me first. Okay, I'll, me I'll first. tell them where the bodies are. Now you first. Hold, hold on, no, no, me first. Me first. You got to get to the phone, nigga. <laughs> No, she's not gonna know. I'm not gonna threaten her with that. You think uh, I'm a flash? Oh, okay. You think okay. I'm a flash the flash okay. the? You were saying that like I got the dirt and and no, I'm not gonna flash the snitch. Okay. <laughs> she just drop. Little. I gotta hide the snitch. Hey, we gonna talk about that too. Right, bet we are. These, these niggas are hiding the snitch now, boy. I called some street niggas. Don't worry. I was confused like y'all. I called some niggas <laughs> and buddy. You you wasn't confused no more. No, they cleared it right up for me. <laughs> They cleared it right up for me. See, I listen, I obey the law, yo. Same. And I, I stay out it's getting tough there. out there for the people that don't. It's tough True. now. Mm-hmm. They got chips. Yeah. Technology. Places it wasn't technology, chips. Yo. Cameras. Cameras. Technology. Cameras in the sky, satellite, helicopter hovering above your house. Yeah, they tapping, they nigga cell tapping phone, your phone, pinging off the side yeah. at all times. Cameras is on every street pole, light pole, all that shit. It's hard. Yeah. Facial recognition, even when you got a mask on. Your ESPN track uh, app is even tracking your location. <laughs> like, All right, society is on my side. Maybe I date the killer bitch. You Society's on my side, yo. I'm going to have ring cameras all in the house. You pop me, you going down, yo. You popped already. Yeah. Joe, you, she got you, 17 you, bodies. You still popped, though. <laughs> <laughs> she gonna fuck about them ring cameras. She ain't the brightest. Right. She, like do that, said, she do that time. It depends like it's on nothing. what kind of killer she is. Is she the hothead killer or is she the? All right, did y'all killer? ever date the girl that beat chicks up? Like that's aggressive. That yeah. got hands. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. That can't, can't if, you, if you and her got into a little a little scuffle, mm-hmm. like you might have to use strength. Mm-hmm. No, I ran. <laughs> yeah. You I want no parts of that. I ran. I'm cool, dog. I was fucking with a chick that did Muay Thai. Oh, no. And I ain't gonna uh, hold nah, you. That's a different. You get different. It was you a be di- trying to be exotic. That's it was why. a different wrestling. Yo. It was a different <laughs> wrestling. Ninja. She was getting inside position, all types of fancy yeah. shit. Like, oh, bitch, let me really put my foot back. Like, whoa. Oh, yeah. It was, yeah. She made you tap? No, nigga. I thought, I thought the Pilates <laughs> nah, was right. you anyway if she did, but I no. was play wrestling with a tiny girl one time. She slipped right out of my little Boston crab and put me in, <laughs> put me in some shit. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit, I you chill, are chill, elusive. Chill. <laughs> Come here, man. Let me swallow that little shit now. Get over here. 
<laughs> Put that little shit in my mouth, man. You know, <laughs> sexy stuff. What's wrong with this nigga, man? Come on, kind of, nah. After a little play fight? Nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how you yeah. make it nah, up right now. Nah. Yeah, yeah. Now I got to kill that little shit. <laughs> Show you who boss. Yeah, yeah. Show you who boss. Who the boss, ain't yeah. No, no All right, you won a little bit in that one, but now now, now let the dick come. <laughs> let's, let's introduce some dick into the equation. All right. Happy birthday to my baby, Lex. I love you. Daddy Yankee out there getting the last of that tour money, boy. And they out there. I oh, just yeah, told y'all. Yeah. No, I know, but now he hit Houston, so my Houston people, like, as he goes, the people hit me and say, yo, Daddy Yankee, the real niggas, they're like, yo, you know why I'm, I'm about to run over there, right? <laughs> See what's going on. Bring him out, bring him out. This is his retirement tour. I want to shout out, out to Daddy Yankee because, listen, many nights, there was no Bad Bunny in the Copacabana when I was there. Listen, he's the OG. So I, I appreciate you. And that got me just down my rabbit hole of the Spanish niggas that they inserted into my life. Pause. Ricky Martin had y'all in a frenzy. Y'all was living La Vida Loca out there. I was outside. I was, yeah. oh, stay low, stay low, <laughs> living La Vida. He was going crazy for Derek or somebody. <laughs> And girls, ah, what the fuck? It milked y'all dollar. Oh, <laughs> we got to talk about the women dollar one day. Oh, man. Then I was there for Rico Suave. Da, le, de, da, te, ta, ta. Mm, Rico. <laughs> y'all don't know. Y'all don't know yo, you stupid, that. man. Oh, I think you half Spanish, yo. You might be half Spanish, yo. I'm not, but half of it go. You know what? <laughs> All right. So welcome to episode. What episode is this? Uh, 587? Welcome to episode oh, 587 shit. of the JBP. The JBP? The JBP. The JBP. JBP. Where would Niggas we be without the JBP? What? I'm going to get somebody like Miguel to do it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to get it done. Ooh. I'm going to get Jasmine Sullivan or somebody to do it. It's and over. that's going to be the drop. God damn it. Uh, 580 what? Seven, I believe. Welcome to 587 of the Joe Budden Podcast. I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, and highly favored and sick host, Joe Budden. Here with a few of my nearest and dearest. Ish is here. Ice is here. Parks is here. Pope's here. Corey is here. And so is E. I'm just singing everything now. <laughs> sing it all the whole podcast. How y'all doing, it. man? What's going on? This cold is beating my ass. Don't worry. It's a regular cold. It's a regular cold. Not the other C word. Who's mm. it? Not the other C word. Which is just a regular cold, I think, at this point. Yeah, they got the stepped on COVID out there. Yeah. I had the real shit. I had the one where you didn't know if you was waking up the next day. Then they stepped on it, mass distributed it through the hood. Hey, that's what they did. But this is a regular cold. Been beating my ass. Got it from my son. All didn't get to see yeah, him all, on his birthday. All, all didn't want to give the cold back to him. What is it? RSV? RSV. Yeah. RSV. COVID, the flu. Yeah, all my, wife, my wife said they're wearing the masks in schools now and shit again. Again. Yeah, just because there's mad, there's RSV, there's COVID, there's the cold, there's the flu, there's all that the shit is going on. Like, you don't want the shot, the flu shot? It's like, Doc, if you don't fly your ass out my face, <laughs> no fucking flu. I was at the doctor with my daughter yesterday. He asked me, you want to give her a flu shot? No. No, no, we cool. She's two. I'm cool. You're not getting a flu shot, fam. A flu shot? What'd that do? She won't get it. Make sure you don't get the flu? Uh, supposedly. Yeah, how many times you got the flu in your life? Or I got it a couple times. It whooped my ass, but I'm not getting no flu shot. But I encourage you, you if don't you, get the, you, 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 no, gotta, you go. You got to gain weight. Nah, was, uh, <laughs> huh? You got to gain some weight. What, what you mean? Why, yo? So that flu won't kick his ass. Fight back. Fight back. <laughs> He's too skinny. Yeah, give him that, you know, that flu in his system. Oh, <laughs> he start breaking man, up. You got to gain some weight. This guy's still nuts, yo. My, my mom hit me. She was like, yo, after you get over that cold, might want to go get that booster, that new booster, booster plus. <laughs> booster A. Number 17. Yeah, that little booster A. <laughs> What'd you say? I don't be wanting to have the important talks. <laughs> I don't be wanting to have the important talks with my mom. I didn't say nothing. I said, all right, let's see yeah, what's going on. Think about it. Let's see what's going on. But listen, the way this cold beat my ass, I might need a little, might need a little boostier. Yeah, yo, Ish, I don't know where I side on this. Go get some wheatgrass. Go get you some ginger shots. You think some lemongrass going to save you? Wheatgrass. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A little lemon pepper going to knock tell the cold him, Tell him, Corey. Some cayenne, you know what I mean? Amazon, didn't Amazon buy Whole Food? Yes. Yeah. Amazon, y'all better get it the fuck together too. <laughs> Them Whole Food niggas was a lot nicer before y'all stepped into play. 
<laughs> no, I'm dead ass. I got a whole food. Oh yeah, yeah, no, they fired a few niggas too. Yeah. Oh yeah, they look a little different. Steak from huh? Keep going to get that cheap steak from Astoria. I go to the butcher, man. Oh, oh, pardon me, I forgot. Yeah. I forgot who I was talking. So they to. tell me to go to Whole Foods to get a little booster, booster wellness booster shot. Mm -hmm. They give you a little. So money. I go in there. They didn't fire a bunch of niggas. Ain't but a couple niggas in there now. And these people don't look as happy to service you as the last crew. Like, yo, you know what it's like? I don't know, nigga. They go over there. I don't nigga. know. They give you some Tropicana? Go over there somewhere. They go, go slice a lemon or something. Down there. I know it's down that <laughs> end. Over there. Here's I go, I, Whole Foods got the best eggnog. Mm. So I go all the way to the really? back. Yeah, best eggnog. The, by far. That's why you sick, nigga. No, I don't drink it. I'm not drinking it right now. Oh. But TSK's they, supposed but they to be have the best eggnog. TSK's supposed to be bringing some Coquito next week. I'm excited about that. There's some Coquito in the fridge. Oh, right. From Lisa, yeah. From, he ducked the smoke. He it's didn't duck shit. There. Your people ducked the smoke. Yeah. But yeah, anyway, eggnog, Whole Foods, go back there, ask the dude coming out of the back, yo, dog, you know what eggnog is? I'm by the milk. I'm in the back. He said, yeah, man, uh, we don't normally have that in the holiday season. <laughs> you Nigga. Lying, what the fuck? Man. What is this? I'm not lying. To <laughs> what you. is this? Hey, y'all, I keep. It's between Thanksgiving and Christmas. Nigga, Christmas what the fuck is, next is this? Week? This is holiday this season. Is That's what I said. Bit. He said, yeah, well, you might want to, if it's holiday season, then you might want to check up in the front. But if it's not there, then you should probably check back next week. I said, it's December 15th. <laughs> what hey, the fam. What the hell? So what's wrong with you? But anyway, I got the wellness shots. I don't want to be. How I'm going to go get the wellness shots, Ish, and, and be such against the booster? I don't know whose side I fall on in this. Do I need some booster? Do I need to just treat myself better? It's okay to do both, by the way. Man, fuck Ish. I don't fuck with Ish and Corey don't drink. They don't smoke. They eat grass. They use condoms. They run. They use condoms. They do pull-ups and push-ups for everything. Don't live. Yo, they don't Yo, live. is that living? Go, so, no. So you're just going to put some foreign shit in your body Nobody lives like that. Ginger. Nobody lives like that, yo. No, Nobody yo, lives like that. This guy's a fool. Ginger L. Nigga don't have no fun. Yo, yo, so, wait, he has yo, sober threesomes. Wait, yo, what the... <laughs> nigga's a loser. <laughs> what you... Nigga's a loser. He the only one at the threesome attentive, knowing everything. <laughs> wait, is, 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 are you one of the people that, like, um, wash everything with vodka or vinegar or some shit like that? And, like, that's cool? Fool. He get on the airport. What like, you clean your, like what you There's clean people that really with? like, nah, we go organic. We just wash everything with vodka or vinegar. It's like, nah, that's not clean. I'm working anything, on the it just costs too much. What? what? The alkali system. In oh. your house. Seriously. Like, oh, bat no. like batteries? Nah. <laughs> I'm asking hey, yo, you are a heathen. <laughs> yo, a little bit of culture, my nigga. Just this much. And do you help yourself. He won't take it. Help no, it's he won't, thing he won't take it. No, I'm going to take it. Help me. All right, it's a thing, a system that you hook up to your water system, and now you don't need cleaner no more. So you could change the alkalinity in the water that comes out of your faucet. Yo. So if you want to you drink tap water? Yo. No, yo, nigga. you think that's not a scam? <laughs> you think that's <laughs> no, not a no, scam? No, no, it's really not a scam. Yo, you want to hear how I smoke? It just costs too much. You want to hear how I smoke the game? Oh, boy. That's it. I'm listening. My mom got one. She, go fill she up forgot shit. she had it when she was redoing her kitchen. And she put her new counter space, the way she designed her shit, away from where the water shit is. So now she can't get around the room for it. You boosted it? <laughs> Real nigga. It's coming Yo, right to my house. Yeah, she can't use it. Would like you, alkali water right. that they sell in the store? She said that she cost like six grand. Right. Yeah, it's just like me? 10 grand. It cost like six grand, hers. And it makes you... Tap you could get because it's two. You could get one for just your drinking water, or you could get one for your whole system. So your shower water, all of that shit, mm -hmm. is alkali based. So think about yeah. it. Your, your skin is your biggest yeah. organ on your body. Sure. You, so you, no, you preach. So if you're putting bullshit in I your mean, skin, I mean, I'm kind of blessed. I mean, no, you're not. Your skin be looking like shit on YouTube. <laughs> I wasn't talking about my <laughs> skin. YouTube. I wasn't talking about my skin. I'm just. Man. I'm talking about YouTube. I was talking about when something. I click on the thing on YouTube and it get to the ice camera. I'm telling you, fucking idiot, yo. But me too. Yo, what's wrong with you, yo? I could watch our shit. Oh, man. <laughs> Go ahead, no. But no, seriously, like, so you could change the... So bleach, you mm -hmm. can make the water have the same alkalinity level as bleach. So you don't need cleaner. You can literally change the alkalinity. That don't sound like the greatest thing. Wait, wait, wait. You just oh, drink bleach all out. No, you this move what it, Trump was you telling niggas to do. Drink bleach. No, listen, drink nigga, bleach. you can move it up and down based on what you want to do. So if you want to wash your dishes, you change the alkalinity level or the acidity level in the water. Never mind, bro. I'm, Never mind. Go ahead, fam. You don't We're even good. need soap no more. Word. <laughs> yeah. Yo. My man is alkali vegan. The nigga said he hasn't worn deodorant in eight years. 
I ain't quite, I'm not quite there yet. I'm the live vegan. Yo, y'all be going too far with shit, man. Shut the fuck up. Talking, man. <laughs> and you shut the fuck up. <laughs> fuck. What the fuck is he talking about? I don't know what he's doing, yeah. Yo, you don't put that on the North Boy shit either, yo. We got the trial of the century going on, but somehow. <laughs> We're talking about alkali water. Water and deodorant. Your man did what? How often you see this dude? What's his name? You give him a hug when you <laughs> see him? Yeah. Corey, no. You know. You always got to drag some people down with you. Nah, nah, nah. I'm just saying. <laughs> the nigga don't. When Stay you on your relationship. Them, take your dude. charge, man. Bro, don't, stop don't, don't eating tell. the steak. That's your stink ass dairy, nigga. nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I That's just Joe don't just, know. Nah, That's your stink ass water. friend. Your friend stinks. All right, <laughs> <laughs> and, and we two old ass stink friends. Indeed, I agree. We are. We are. Oh, no, right. We are definitely. What happened old. if you smell a little something? You, you tell him. You yeah, tap him. Yeah, you gotta tell him. He's For real. Go. Yeah, nigga. You have to. Yo, Yo, if I stink, don't tell me. <laughs> Yo, nigga. Don't tell me. Where, where Unless we, we around some girls. Yeah, I was about to say, where we at? But we that's, out, that's, we when, that, that's when your man won't tell you. The girl's like, oh, something smells funny. He like, yeah, don't you smell it? <laughs> that's some shit you Your man that. like, where that shit coming that's from? That's you, yo. That's you, yo. Yo, you got to stop doing that. You paint a bad <laughs> yeah, picture of me. Yeah, that's fucked up. Some... Somebody do stink, right? <laughs> it's like it's coming from right there, that nigga. <laughs> right over there, though. Yo, Holy this guy. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Silly. Right. Come on, let's. Wait, it's a lot, lot to get to. Let's get right to yeah, it. It is. Let's get right uh, to it. Uh, the JBP. The JBP. Come on, don't tuck your dick in your thighs already. Come on, <laughs> come on. Get get your dick out your thighs. Uh, he was, let's he was, do it. He was rusting over there. Your go. What's on you? Yeah, your go. It's on you. Oh, yeah, nah, it's your go, OG. You go no, you are OG. the hot. It's your go, but you the OG. I you are the OG. You the OG. I'm learning a new game. Huh? What? I'm in a new game. You still? <laughs> I'm, I'm privileged you to be working not, with the podcast. You told me that's not entry level. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning. <laughs> See, you learned it. Yeah, this guy, this guy's good. Yeah. This oh guy. shit! All right, man. so I won't lie to y'all. I'm having a blast. <laughs> <laughs> this shit is amazing. This yo. shit is a shit show. Oh, I love it's a clown show. I don't, shit is I don't a even need to see show. the movie. It's a clown show, yo. Hey, I'm good. I don't care what happened, yo. <laughs> I don't it's care. It's getting to that point, though. It's I don't care. That point. I, this listen, is a show. Listen, yeah, I'm sorry, Meg got hurt, but this shit is fucking. I don't no, even know. You can't write this. You can't write this. Yeah, it's it crazy. <laughs> no, it sounds like it's out of a script. You got. Hey, yo. <laughs> I mean <laughs> Hey she stood tall Ten toes down <laughs> Alright All right, come, come on Stop, 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 stop. No, be for real Be for real come on. Y'all gotta grow up man. Yo, But I don't have to do that How come she get She get to go on the stand And say <laughs> Honestly I wish he would've Just killed me that night She said that? <laughs> yeah If I would've known I had to go through this Yes I thought she said I wish I was dead I didn't think she said, I wish he killed me. <laughs> no, stop. Oh, man. Stop my, laughing. My female friends are already we have to kicking deliver. my ass. Are oh, they for real? Talk, tell, tell me about it. Cursing me out. My lawyer. Everybody cursing me out, fam. Why, why what you did? Yo, y'all, are, y'all are not we saw, supporting we saw black a little women. Like the, the, we support y'all all the time through everything. The next time one of y'all get shot by the cops, I don't give a fuck. I'm like, oh, damn, fam. <laughs> oh, well, my That's audience is feel? 80% men. And <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Listen, it's all. your lawyer and <laughs> good shit, the fuck? <laughs> the fuck? No, listen. No, 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 no. Yo, hold your, hold your, yo. hold, stop. Uh, hold jokes <laughs> aside. I received that. You did? I received that from oh. you. And I've seen some of that. This shit is so complex. There's a lot of different ways to interpret it. So I wanted to come in here today and be clear on my standings and my, and my associations and why and my belief system. I want to be clear before we just get to joking, but this is hilarious. And my mom called me. She said, "Yo, why you say why you say you don't like that girl?" And I said, "Cause I don't like that girl." <laughs> <laughs> she said, "But you, yeah, but you don't have to say you don't like the girl." I'm like, "Yeah, but I didn't have to not say it. Like I stand in my dislike for the girl." So let me be clear for, to the audience: that has nothing to do with this case or Tory Lanez. I, for me personally. I've seen I've I've seen this woman do horrible things to some really great people that I have long standing relationships with in this industry. 
So I'm biased. Like, you can't just treat my friends and people I fuck with and people I've seen in this game for 15 years a certain way. Uh, that aside, I'm talking about her and what she's chosen to do professionally. I want to be clear. I don't know her as a person. She could be amazing. But there's a lot to deal with when you sign. And a lot happens fast. So I want to have grace and be sensitive. She lost her mother. There's been loss. There's mm -hmm. been loss. Mm -hmm. And uh, they've established those were bullet fragments in her foot. Mm -hmm. She was injured. She was injured. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like the women, like Toy and your lawyer and the people that I've heard from, let's make this clear. We do believe and that Meg the Stallion was injured that night. Correct. No question. The only thing that I'm questioning, and I've been very consistent in this for the people that don't get this, did Tory Lanez take a gun out and attempt to shoot this woman, or did something happen where a weapon was fired and Meg was injured? That's it for me. Those are two very different things, and I think that's what they're trying to get to the bottom of in this case. And I don't think they're going to. But they're making it. In, yeah. yeah, we'll never know now. I don't think we're ever going to. Now that we see how this trial is going, we'll never know. I don't think a definitive answer is going to come. No. And, and I want to go on the record and say, if he shot her, he deserves to go to jail. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. If yes, he yes, shot yes, the girl, yes. he deserves to go to fuck the jail. No Be clear. Yes. Yeah. But the way this is going and the three main parties involved are Tory, Kelsey, and Meg, you are not getting any consistency from any of them. Facts. Even Meg. Facts. She has been caught lying. And so now that kills your credibility. You fucked him? Nah, I ain't fuck him. And well, see, that's the other thing. I was, so I was if you're going to lie about that dog, now what you going to lie about when it comes to well, more important? I kept, I kept seeing people saying, I don't see why her, her sexual, sexual history, history has anything has to do it. with her injury. Yeah. It doesn't. It, it don't have anything to do with her injury, but your credibility. It plays And it plays into the motive of the other parties. So exactly. if you... I, if it plays into the matters leading up to the... Yeah, yeah. like, so yes. think, if if... if Parks popped my last three chicks or ch three chicks in my past behind my back. Oh, you muddy. No. Why? <laughs> you just popping all your work. Yeah, you a <laughs> clown. You got a teeny me? All right, cool. Right? So if Parks is popping my work. Teeny. So I'm arguing with a girl and, and then out of nowhere, she like, oh, nigga, that's why I'm fucking Parks too. You're like, yo, you fucked my last three girls. Like, you in real time, that's an emotional situation. So I'm not saying that Shorty did or did not. I'm just saying your sexual history now plays into the whole mm -hmm. entire case. It does. It Whether does people want to yeah. admit it or not, it does. And if you didn't feel that you did anything wrong, you could have told the truth. That's all I'm saying. But again, I don't give a fuck who you pop, but it definitely lends to your credibility. And that's the first thing we know from watching fucking Law and Order is that the witness on the stand, you, the first thing you do is try to discredit them mm -hmm. to make them not look, you know what I mean? To make yeah. them look wishy-washy. Mm-hmm. She did it to herself. No? I mean, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, everybody's story's changed. His yep. and the two women, their stories have changed. A couple times. Up and down, it's like a seesaw <laughs> ride. Yeah. So how the fuck did we know what really took place? We don't. And we can't Man, find the bodyguard driver. Blind, or we can't just blindly. We haven't seen or heard from the bodyguard. And, and it doesn't look like they're trying to find him. Kevin Costner will not be found. Yeah, they don't, it don't look like they're trying to find him either. Meg takes the stand, and I mean, we'll find out how that was received. But what we read on the internet didn't seem like she did the greatest of jobs. And I've watched enough TV to know that shit. If you have to take the stand in your case, then mm -hmm. then things might not be going the way your lawyer planned. Now that's all speculative. Kelsey took the stand two days in a row. She has an Albert plea. I don't know what Albert plea means, but it clearly does not cover perjury. Both attorneys reminded her of that uh, consistently on the second day. Uh, they went home, got some questions, asked to re-examine her. <laughs> we going, we're not done with her. The judge seemed a little frustrated with... Alfred plea. Al yeah. Alf Alfred. 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 What'd I say? Al Albert. Albert. Yeah, I meant Alfred. Al. Yeah. Um, the judge seemed frustrated at Kelsey or just at the whole I'm thing? sure he's frustrated. Yeah, he probably frustrated shit at this whole shit. He would have to be. He would have to be frustrated. So whatever whatever uh, account she gave on whatever date that was where she said, y'all was lying back then, they threw that out. But now uh, they are allowing, since her memory is so foggy, 
they are allowing the text to go through where she texts uh, Meg's people and said, yo, this is what happened. Tori did this. Should I go to urgent people. care from yeah. my lip, my ribs are hurting or my he, he was dragging me, whatever, whatever. Should I go to urgent care for that? Because mm. she got on the stand and said, nah, he ain't, he ain't knocked me down. He ain't do X, Y, Z. But they got a, a text message saying, yo, he did. It's hard. It's going to get It's hard to get to the truth with, with the testimony that's given. Mm-hmm. Right. She has gun residue on her. But she didn't hear dance, bitch. She didn't see Tori shoot anybody. I didn't shoot anybody. So it does leave the person with common sense to say, all right, well. Someone shot somebody, someone. Somebody lying. <laughs> someone lying. See, but that's with the wording. I'm, I can't say someone shot somebody, but so, a gun went off. Someone shot a gun. A gun yes. went off. A gun went off. You could say that. You could, you know, drop a gun in it. You know what I'm saying? Like, a gun went off. It did. Yeah. I don't know about an empty clip, which they said. But yeah. even with the empty clip, like and I meant to say this the other day, we don't know how many bullets was in the gun. Right. True. Five. five. Yeah. It was five bullets in the gun. Five. Because they said they heard four to five shots. No, they heard five shots. And bop, bop, bop. It was in a slide back position. Uh, <clears throat> brief slide silence. Box. Bop, bop. Oh. Yeah, they played the audio in court. Mm. Got you. No video. So it was five bullets. And I don't want to speculate, but five bullets, they were all gone. She's got a bullet fragments in her foot. A gun went off. Mm-hmm. Now, I think that this is going to heat up. I think this is going to heat up whenever uh, Corey Gamble takes the stand and the other key witness that's supposed to take the stand. If you think we've seen fireworks, strap up. Mm. Get your popcorn. Do we all, know who the other key witness is? <laughs> I do, but I won't say. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's going to be nice. Mm -hmm. It's going to be good. Uh Uh-oh. And that's my man. That's what I had to tell my mom. I said, Mom, that's her best friend taking a stand against her. Like, you don't need me to talk about her alienating relationships. She's alienated quite a few people. And some of them people are going to take the stand. (laughs) They're going to get to the bottom of all that fuzzy memory shit that went on in that house. No, and I'm going to be right there. She was Boy, up in Ohio, I'm, Oliver North shit. I'm, I'm enjoying this like I paid for the trial. <laughs> Seriously. Seriously. And that's where part of my joy comes from. You very rarely get to see something. Normally, a black men take the plea. Yeah. Normally, you take the plea. And, and they, they offered the, them a bum-ass plea right before the trial starts. I think that's, that's pivotal to be noted, too, because they offered them some way less charges. A couple days before the trial starts, which, in my opinion, says the defense don't feel that confident. Mm-hmm. That's one. And then, I mean, that's what I meant, yeah. prosecution, I'm sorry. And then number two, he feels hella confident because he turned that, it down. That's all I took from the from the rip was like, no, nah, I don't want no plea because a plea still insinuates guilt. Right. And kills my career. Exactly. Et cetera, et cetera. So, no, I want to clear my name. That's all I took from him. I don't, I'm not taking nothing. Let's take it to trial. I want to clear my name. They've done a great job of establishing reasonable doubt. All but, of them. But what's wild about that is the defense has yet to call anybody yet. Not one person yet. <laughs> That's crazy. Yo, dog, think about it. After the prosecution goes, it's like, yo, Yana, what are we doing? Can we get the fuck out of here? Y'all can't establish reasonable doubt. From the prosecution? This is Hollywood, dog. I mean, yeah, I've, you're I've right. seen stranger you're things right. happen sure. in Hollywood. You're right. And it's mega uh-huh. money behind it. Yep. I heard mega it. bread. I heard there's a juror that one side don't like. They might be trying to get rid of somebody. It's all types of big wig, big money shit going on it's in there right now. Shit. So I think that, um, I think to be honest at this point, um, both parties might be leaning toward a mistrial. I, because that way everybody saves face. Mm. We all go home. Everybody's reputation is tarnished, but it don't take away everybody's ability to get to it and get no money and, you know what I mean, move on with their life. I think the mistrial might work. The mistrial hurts him. It will, but it won't. Because niggas have already started to accept him back into the fold. So the mistrial says, yo, for the people that are Tory fans, he ain't do it. And for the people that are Meg fans, yes, he did. And I think that'll still resonate whether she get he gets found innocent or guilty. The people that fuck with him gonna fuck with him and the people that's not, they not. Because mm. if he don't get found guilty, I mean, if he gets found not guilty, right? Mm. The people that side with Meg still not gonna fuck with him. Mm-hmm. A lot of black women are still not gonna fuck with him because they gonna say he did it regardless. 
You know what I'm saying? It's mm-hmm. not a clear cut case. Nobody got film of him shooting at nobody or none of that shit. So it still leaves for your own personal yeah, biases. People, people's, people's minds are made up already. Yeah, I agree. They don't care what this verdict reads. Yeah. The verdict will just. But it allows it both of them to still move forward. You know what I mean? Like if she gets, like if some definitive shit that comes out and says, no, she lied on this boy, the label can't stay in that. She's a megastar. It's a lot of money to be lost. A lot of money behind it too. Contention on the verdict of this trial, I'm calling for the firing of somebody at Rock Nation. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to come right in here and ask for the, the mastermind behind that bullshit to be relieved of her position. Because I like Rock Nation. I do. But <clears throat> they called it the 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 Olivia ver- Pope in there to, to try to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if the verdict comes out Set a certain way. Pay her and all that shit. Man. Yeah, put some money. She got to go. She got to go. Put somebody else in the spot. But I'll save that take. I'm saving that take. Well, I'll be watching. Yeah, yeah no I'm doubt. Blue. No doubt. Like I said, this shit is it's better un- than, a, it's than, than a, the movie. Yeah, it's definitely it is super it's unfortunate. unfortunate. They're playing with, everyone's playing with everyone's emotions. Like It's unfortunate. Because it's still us at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's fucked up. But, oh well. Inshallah. More, more, more court news. Listen to our unfortunate, though. Yo, I mean, it's, it's unfortunate, like, it is, but, but, but. If they, if ain't nobody going to go in there and tell the truth, what are we supposed to do? Uh, all yes, and we a, have a job. It's, a, it's to unfortunate do here. that someone was injured, mm-hmm. for sure. No, it's it's no. bigger than that. It's unfortunate in a bunch of other ways besides her injuries. It's unfortunate that us as a culture, we in there for shooting a fucking megastar or a megastar getting a gun discharged. You know what I'm saying? Like all of the shit is messy in it. We all engulfed in it. I always hate. In this case, I don't. But when it's me, I hate when they leave the press in the court. To take pictures and blog about it and run out on the bricks immediately when too. When it's me, yes. oh, I'd be mad. Daily news right in your face when you walk out. So, dude, no. They was in court cases like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My lawyer thought he was doing something. Hey, can we have the press not be here? For no. Mm. We know who you are. <laughs> this person's staying here. Wow. And they right on time. Shit, twelve o'clock. They be breaking news. Yo, we could have we could have flew crazy. to L.A. with a press pass and sat in San Court. <laughs> Yo, that, that would have left. <laughs> Why? <laughs> the four of us in their report on that shit would have been funny. I'd have been in there. It would have been funny. I'd have been in there. It would have been content gold. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, I'd have been out there swaying, swaying jurors. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna tell the truth. I would have been out there letting my bias out. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. Mm-hmm. I got you. How are we gonna swing him? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Best I don't know. Steak dinner. Little ginger shot. I'd have been right out. <laughs> I'd have been right outside the court the whole time talking to my phone. That's They'd have been like, yo, we about to lock the door. Go ahead. I'm getting money out here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can hear y'all. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I can hear y'all. I'm cool. Good. I'm right here. Got a job oh, to do. I'm on, yeah. I'm on oh, Block TV right now. That's <laughs> me. Crazy. Block TV. <laughs> yeah, that's I mean, not... I'm on Block TV right now. Oh, that's crazy. That's the bailiff. Yeah, you know I mean, <laughs> Roscoe. I'd be out there showing that. Hey, hey, there's something going around now saying they want me to come testify at uh, to the Triple X yeah. in the Triple X murder. For real? Yeah, yeah. That's it's him. Drake. The getaway it's driver. A whole bunch of yeah. Getaway driver is trying to establish some doubt. Mm-hmm. And he just pulled up a list of people that he assumed Triple X to have beef with. And these people, I think they're trying to get to testify. I'm on that list. Let me tell y'all. Them other niggas, they are big names. So they might not come. <laughs> y'all better think about it if y'all want me to come. <laughs> I'm going to come and incriminate someone that shouldn't be. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm coming to have fun. <laughs> I'm coming to perjure. <laughs> Are you shitting me? It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. Oh, man. Do you know him? Yeah. <laughs> I just started lying. <laughs> nigga, like, you know me? Yeah, nigga. Yeah. yeah. And he told me he was going to do something. <laughs> he had full knowledge. Full oh, knowledge of God. what was taking place before they went over What's there. What's your name? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And rest in peace, Triple X. That's my man. Yeah, send him off. Send him off. <laughs> hey, driver, rethink it. I don't have nothing better to do <laughs> but to come up there and send somebody to jail. That's why I'd be laughing. Yeah. 
Nah, that's the new shit in rap. We here now. <laughs> oh shit! Hey, that '90s shit is over with, buddy. <laughs> hey, in the '90s, I was '90s. Niggas was standing, standing I was, tall. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Now, no. Who can we send away? Don't loiter around me. You going up? You jaywalk. I'm sending somebody up too. You jaywalk. Nah, the snitch got the power. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> you better be careful. Joe, Ooh. take the stand. Rest in peace, Triple X. Oh, Yo, you know man. who else? Uh, rest in peace, Craig Sager. I forgot Craig Sager died. Yeah. yeah. Then a lot of niggas died. Mm-hmm. Craig Sager been gone for a minute, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a couple years. Yeah. I know, but still. Still, still rest in peace. Rest in peace. Yeah. Yeah. Indeed. Still, mm-hmm. you forget these people were staples. Mm-hmm. I forgot it wasn't no loud suits. Walt Frazier confusing me. <laughs> you wasn't the only wild suit dude. Nah. You know what I mean? Um, listen, good luck to all involved. I'll be watching. I don't think we get a verdict till next week. Might be a long trial. Maybe next Friday. They're they not- going to deliberate long. You know how many people um, the defense have? How many? I don't know. I'm asking. Oh, no. Okay. We just know of two so far. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Shit a damn shit show, bro. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. And I'm glued. No doubt. We love a mess. Unfortunately. <laughs> we, we Why we like that, man? I don't know. We going, we going back to court? You know what's funny about you niggas? This is what just sent home for me that this was a shit show. Meg get out the car. The bloggers and the camera people are there to take pictures of her. She got on some purple dress. For me, I don't know why that looked strange, but it did. It looked strange to me. Made you think of Jaheim. That's why. Purple suit. (laughs) (laughs) That was a funeral. Well, I think that was that it was, was a funeral. It was Whitney's funeral. <laughs> yeah, we are niggas. Yeah. <laughs> well, go ahead. Bro. We're never gonna get better as people. No, we're not. It's over we're here. That's it. Somebody tell my son. Why son? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta let my son know. Anyway, the purple shit looked funny to me. I know how these big mega stars do, so I immediately go to Google to look up what this color means. Yep. I knew you was gonna do it. Go ahead. <laughs> what do you mean? Mourning, grief, like sadness. And you got the best PR people in the world, and they are, told you to put that on. They are advising. Oh yeah, no. What, oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Now, how do you combat that? You guessed it. My baby. Yo, go get my son for me. My baby. Mm. Yo, go get my kid. And I'm, that's what's funny about you entertainers. I didn't even know this nigga had a kid. <laughs> me neither. I heard it in the song. I didn't know Gunna had a family. I'm gonna get to y'all niggas, yo. Tory Lanez got o- done opened car. a strip club, food trucks, put out nine projects, quarantine radio. He introduced me to the long tongue freak girl that I won't follow. But if she's there, <laughs> if she's there, I mean, come on, I won't follow her. I'm bored. Right there, I like a little tongue. I like that tongue shit. I like tongue I shit. I do. That's weird, I know, right? I don't even know what that means, but the I don't The long want to freaky ask. tongue? You know the long freaky yeah. tongue. Does that do oh, anything for you? I'm looking at it. The shit be down here. No, yeah. when they do that shit, they the stick. The little curl up and yeah, shit. Yeah, like, yeah. what's the what's the uh, X-Men girl name with the long tongue? Well, the enemy girl. The purple girl. Mystique. Yeah, Mystique. She got a long tongue? I think so. Probably. Yeah, right. yeah. you just have to MCU. <laughs> 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 you missed the, miss the MCU. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, Mystique is sexy. I'll be. I know, I, know, I would be, for sure. Yeah. You don't got ass. I've seen a couple girls I know. <laughs> she could turn into anything too. I've Come seen a couple on, girls I know in real that. life try to be mystique and it wasn't mystique. No, I've seen some Yo, pull it off though. Oh yeah? Yeah. Some pulled it off on Halloween. No, oh, okay. That's the all blue shit. Yeah. When the yeah. titties be out. Yeah, I seen yeah. a couple yeah. of them. Yeah. <laughs> we not about to do that. So when the, 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 when the some titties, titties be out. Over there, the titties be out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They be with the titties <laughs> out in the Halloween. They spill a little paint on that shit. Some caught that mystique. Matter of fact, Kim was mystique. A little now, little pink nipple. Oh, okay. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> with it, <laughs> with it, bro. You ever fuck with chicks that uh, bleach their asshole? I don't think so. No, oh, you wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. Oh, you don't be back there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking. He don't eat ass. Remember? You ain't gotta eat ass to I'm be back saying, there. He don't be. He don't. I don't. You don't, be, don't never spread them no white cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> then you get to see some coloration, bet some. What's that shit, eczema? <laughs> All right. Is that right? Is it? Anyway, oh, Tory Lanez oh, walked shit, in yo. there with his kid to combat the shit. I was like, All right. kid was wrapped around yeah, him like yeah, a yeah, protective yeah. 
koala huh? bear. And he had something else walking behind him, he too, did. now. He did. <laughs> a little, a little he, piece. He, he had a little something, something that. back there. Mm-hmm. I told my girl I would do that. I'd bring you to distract the whole court. <laughs> Go in there and wear one of them shirts. <laughs> oh, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> you ain't see what he did, though. I seen what he did. See, see, okay. I seen what he did. Okay. I said, I what see what you did. Tell us what tell, he did. Tell nigga. Parks and I guess the audience. She had an afro. Oh. Deeply melanated. That was his work? Come on, I don't, man. Just saying, man. Yeah, she walked in behind him. That's all I'm saying. I just seen when she walked in. They played all the games. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> they played all the games. It. I, I see it. it. I ain't know I that was it. his work, though. I don't know if it was. I, I'm telling you, she walked in. The lawyer for workers, nigga, he gave y'all one day of free content, watched the metrics go up, and was like, all right, follow this subscription. Follow uh, this. Hey, uh, my, and my Instagram subscription, but I got to give him props. He the first one I seen. We're telling you what it? he's putting behind the Instagram subscription. Mm. Yeah. All y'all yeah. just about, yo, follow me. No. No, no, no. I'm not doing that. No, y'all ain't putting shit on OnlyFans. I'm going to have to follow you here. The fuck? Anyway. Yeah, I'm not paying for no one's IG. Nah. I can I see know. that one, though. No, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> That's a smart little move. It is smart, but I guess he had a problem with figuring out how to put the dope content only on subscription and kept going out for free. Every other hour, he kept making a vid to the subscriber. Yo, I don't know why it's still going out for free. <laughs> uh, I'm going to figure it out. I'm like, shut up, nigga. We, give us the facts. Yeah, yeah we here now. Give us the Let's facts of the case, dog. buddy. That's funny. What a shit show. These niggas found their families. You know how much shit you got to get into for you to go get your son? <laughs> <laughs> and publicly have him out there? Because now you got to have that conversation with his mom. Y'all need, I need, oh, I need him for a little. Now she want to insert her feelings and brain. And yo, I got a court case. I don't care what you think about it. No, she don't. Huh? No, she not. No, she not what? She ain't going to say nothing. That nigga is the cash cow. Mm. I need you to stay Home it's on a, these streets. I've seen it. I mean, um, <laughs> I've seen it. You get a girl that's strong in her opinion. <laughs> Shit. Oh, you, come on. Joe, Joe, Joe. All right. I'm telling you something. I like be, I, it's possible. You think your opinion matter more than me because you got all that money? Mm-mm. I'm telling you. I believe it. Now, what do you say? <laughs> come on, come on. No, give it to me because I ain't thought of a right answer yet. I, <laughs> I have it's one. Two I'll answers. tell you off. Uh, like, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, 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 because they stump me when they say, I, I back out. <laughs> but I know what I be thinking. <laughs> I know what I be thinking, too. What? Oh, man. What you be thinking, Ish? <sighs> I think, um, yeah. <laughs> 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 Yo, we act like money don't mean nothing until it means something. Like, yo, dog, the money pays for where you live. The money pays for the car you drive. Yes, the money means that I have a nicer size opinion than yours in certain <laughs> matters. Yeah. So if I need my son, unfortunately. Yeah, I can't cop to it. He, I mean, he's making sense, but I can't, like, yeah, I can't cop to Like, that. dog, I'm wrong? I, you're not wrong talking to a guy. <laughs> Yo, I thought or a you guy was, who has it. I thought you was coming here to uh, stand Cause, 10 toes Nah, because you know what? But nah, when I had this conversation or tried to, I, I thought I had her when I was like, <laughs> it's not gender specific because if a woman makes more of the money, then there's certain decisions I'm going to have to acquiesce to, I, I would think. Yes. I agree. I agree with that. That ain't work. <laughs> <laughs> Why? No, no. I just did it. Yeah, I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a good way to get out of it. Yeah, Yo, playing. dog. I, unfortunately, money is how we survive. It just is. Like, money is how we survive. And, dog, if I need our son to be a part of my survival so that you can maintain this certain standard of living still, mm. it's unfortunate. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that it's the bo- the best thing to do, but because you're using your son, in essence, as a pawn it's in just, a chess it's game. It's just too logical, man. You nah, know, you, you know, are. You know how many dads use... out there need to go pick up their son for some bullshit? And, and not not for their life. These This nigga's fighting for his life. That's true. So, yo, you like that condo, and you like that range. I need my son. This is how we get that. That don't mean shit. To whom? I'm telling you, not, I'm not just having a and, general conversation. And, look, and they might say that until you back in um on on the number blocks. Not me, the number blocks. Let me ask both. Let, let, let me turn up for a little bit. Let <laughs> the number ask, blocks in other ask, cities. Let me ask both of you gentlemen a question. In a matter of dire importance, y'all think y'all can get a reference letter from your baby mom? 
Yes. And my baby mother is not the most easy to get along with, but... Allegedly. No, I ain't alleged. <laughs> no, I'm saying it, because oh. you'll tweet me, nigga. She will. Yeah, I'm clearing... <laughs> I'm getting up. <laughs> I don't want um, no Yeah, I think so. Nah, I guess? No, nah, I don't think so. I, really? And I've tried to before, and it wasn't the easiest time, is all I'm saying. So, yeah, I hear you, but when that women, br- women brain get involved... She don't necessarily have to care about... Oftentimes, and this is about to be fucked up, oftentimes that's how they get revenge on whatever they mad about that went on in the relationship. Sure. It's when you need them later. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. And now they holding on. You're like, you know, dog, we've been broke up for seven years, yo. It's like, nah. Don't matter. Nah. He got a little play date today. It's his cousin's birthday. Mm-hmm. Wait, who? Third cousin. <laughs> Wait, third cousin. Wait. He got a third cousin? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, <laughs> my brother had a little dog. Like, my you know, give me my fucking kid, yo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo, please stop playing with me, yo. But that's the type of shit that happens. That is. No, because <laughs> I booked the Bronx Zoo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Nigga, the Bronx Zoo ain't going nowhere. That giraffe no, the is going to be there The Bronx tomorrow. Zoo has been booked. You don't know because you're not there. <laughs> you don't know because you don't have to deal with it every day. I walked but in. I've been trying to get in the Bronx Zoo for months, and this is the only appointment that they had. <laughs> you know what? You got it. I'm going to go rent me a I'm kid. I'm telling you. What, <laughs> yeah. go yo, rent, what if that wasn't Tory Kid? Yeah. <laughs> nah, he the man, yo. He the man. You can't say that. He's going to travel shooting girl. Yeah. He's not the man. He's not the man. He's not the man. He's not the man. He's going to travel shooting girl. He's not the man. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Because that's crazy. But, you know. Yo, and hey, and we moving on. When that last podcast cover went out with Tori and Meg got about eight in the morning, all oh, y'all tried to light me up. I went to sleep on y'all. <laughs> <laughs> y'all the little internet commenters suck dick. I went to bed. That's my new shit. I'm tired again. <laughs> I don't have to read this. Put the phone down. Hey, at eight a.m., it did look like I was callous, immoral, insensitive. It looked nuts. Hey, y'all was right. <laughs> at around noon. 1 p.m., boy, it looked genius. <laughs> <laughs> that shit looked iconic. You know how hard that is to do to fucking put a cover out that makes sense the next day? Oh, man, we bodied that one. That this good. fucking clown show of a case. Oh, man. man. Come on, let's get to the next clown show. Gunner. Boy, my phone lit up with, like, with this one like I was whack 100. <laughs> My phone lit up like I was some type of authority to the title streets. <laughs> yeah. Y'all niggas think because people got a podcast, that they're, oh, they can't wait to hear what you think. Yo, my brain's corrupt. Yeah, I'm a my brain, My brain's twisted. I that, stay that out part. of that. Yeah, <laughs> that part. And Hit me up, yo, ice is he snitch? I, nigga, I, I, Come on, so let's get into it. They let gun, they let gun out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And he took a plea those of us that but are he- civilians and wanted him to come home, Clapped it up. Hey, mm-hmm. welcome home. Meek tweeted that shit and deleted it. Welcome home, psych. <laughs> <laughs> now, the streets was like, well, how'd he do that? That was a Rico. Also, the the nerds that live in their mom's basement. Them too. Never oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Crime in their entire life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Said, no, he's worse snitching. In the streets. Oh, yeah. fuck it. Yeah, that's worse in the streets. Fuck you, though, about snitching. So it, was, it was a RICO, state RICO, state is not federal, very different, and it was a racketeering charge. Now, I'm a civilian, but I also don't know anyone that's come home on a RICO of any matter when racketeering is involved. Racketeering is a charge, it's a real charge, it's a mm-hmm. real thing. Mm-hmm. They opened that door for him like he was... He pleaded Obama guilty. Obama getting, hey, and, yeah. And that, time, that was time served, right? Yeah. Time served for I see, racketeering. I see, that wasn't true. But oh, I really? Know. Okay, I don't know. No, 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 no. 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 That it was is true. true. Time served. He got 500 hours or 100 hours of community, community service. 500 hours of community service. And the sentence was five years of which he, uh, mandatory was one year of that. He did the 10 months and they time get, they served. They gave time him served. time served. Now, you're saying that don't sound fishy. And we're going to unpack this. Um, from what I heard, like you won't know if he really read it until later. Like just because somebody went in there and affirmed some shit. So if they, let's just say hypothetically, they got me and Parks or me and Ice going in the store. 
right? And they ask you later, yo, did you go in the store? And you say yes. Mm -hmm. That's not ratting. It's shit that they already know. Like you, yeah. But when you confirm it, don't that kind of? No, I'm, I'm asking. I'm, no, again, no. I was in the house. Though. And, I'm still and in the house. People don't know what snitching or ratting is. Snitching and ratting, and this is where it gets tricky, and we won't know until later. Mm. Is if I told on Parks so that I could go free, you're a rat bastard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, if I confirm, yeah, me, I was with Parks. They already know I was with Parks. Like, what are you talking about? You know nah, I'm, I'm arguing all of this. You won't know until yeah. later. I'm arguing every single word. I'm not saying that he this. didn't snitch. I'm saying that from what I heard, and I talked to mad people, you won't know if he snitched until later on. Would there also be a possibility? I don't. I don't know. I'm a civilian. Yeah. I, that I. That, look look at all, our, of us, our, all of us. All of us qualifying. Yeah. Right. Hey, our listen, hypothetical I'm, situations happen, and I say, "You go ahead and go home. I'll. I'll take this." Is that possibly. a possibility that that happened? That that thug said that. Yeah. Possibly. possibly. I don't know. I don't know. I'm no. a civilian. In a Rico? I don't know. Oh, no. But, but Thug oh. and them got a fed Rico, right? No, this no, is all the state Rico, no. too. This is all the state. Oh, it's all, all of them. Oh, okay. All the state gotcha. Rico. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Oh, feds, he wouldn't have been released. Well, now, when I thought, unless he told, yeah. Now, sure. when I thought that I saw, I, he came home, my phone lit up. I was of the initial impression that no, he did not snitch. But again, I don't know shit. So I saw the video. I listened to it a bunch of times to make sure what was going on. My dumb ass just thought that was, and I've been in that, not that spot, but in the spot where you're taking a plea deal, they run down some shit you got to say yes or no to with the judge. Whether you agree or not, you're just going to say the shit like the terms and conditions, mm -hmm. and you're going to get out of there. A little different here, though. The car part. So everybody went to the car piece mm -hmm. when they said, yo, you and whatever the gentleman's real name was, mm -hmm. um, were in a car. And some drugs and a gun were found in the car. Mm -hmm. And you said that they're not yours. Mm -hmm. And he said, yeah, it's not mine. So they say if it was only you and such and such in the car, which I don't know if that's true, that it was just the two of them in the car, mm -hmm. that's the game that niggas play when they go to court. It wasn't my shit. It wasn't my shit. It wasn't my shit. It wasn't my shit. It leaves a reasonable doubt of whose shit it was. It's the same thing with the the exactly. Tory Meg shit. So that don't mean he snitched on the nigga by saying it's not my shit. Because when you gonna go to court, you know what you gonna say? Y'all y'all let him free already. It's not all he said though. It's not all he said. Help me out. I'm not. He also said, "Yes, they're a gang." I know. Young thugs and I just defense pled is, guilty to racketeering, which says I'm a part of a gang. Yeah, but but young thugs' entire defense is we are not, a, not gang. a gang. Mm. We are yeah. a record label, mm -hmm. and the, the co-founder of YSL also got released and got the same type of plea deal. And okay. he, yes, I found it. The gang said that this is a gang. Yeah. I was the co-founder of the gang. That is why Kevin. That, Lyles, that's what the other dude said. That's what the other yeah. dude said. That's why Kevin. Lyles so he was ran into it, and everybody's. Um, in in judgment, yeah, in their judgment. Gotcha. I, yeah, okay, I don't know. Kevin Lyles is taking the stand to prove the business acumen of Young Thug. Gotcha. It appears like Young Thug is the one that they want. Mm -hmm. That's what it looks like. So when I made my phone calls, because I got text, I right, handle him like Takashi. I I I I saw Takashi take the stand. Mm -hmm. And Takashi just started dropping names that didn't have nothing to do with the case. He was telling on who snuck peanut butter and jelly out of their brother room when they was young. <laughs> he was telling on everything. As it was explained to me by multiple people, was Gunner took the stand as well. They just tricking you with optics, and they tricked him with semantics. They said, Joe, you ever been to court? You ever went to court and said something from the desk, from the where your lawyer, you stand next to your lawyer? I said, yes. She said, you took the stand. Your words in that court, you took the oath, where you took the oath from? The desk. The desk. The, yeah. Anything that you say from that point is on the stand. You're just not on the stand. <laughs> I said, okay. I received that. Mm -hmm. He said, also, he said, they said, because mad people said this, they don't even know each other. He said, this, the, the state already has whatever evidence they have. They're trying to piece something together. They, they have last little holes that they need to fill. They fill that by, do you recognize them as a gang? 
Were you there that day? Do you know there was shit? All of that, whatever he yes or no to. Yes, technically, he's speaking for himself only, and he didn't do anything. But also, technically, you are cooperating with the ongoing RICO because you are helping to establish certain things. So that's when I said, well, y'all need a new term for this type of Because I don't think that's cooperation. Cooperation No, that's is- cooperation, without a doubt. Without a doubt, it's cooperation. Now, if you want to call it snitching or not, that's something different. But he is 100% cooperative. He don't get let out if he's not cooperating. Cooperating right. is, yo, I'm cooperating with y'all to send him away. No. no. I'm cooperating with y'all so I can go home. I'm cooperating, cooperating, with, with, I'm cooperating with the case. Yeah. yeah. I'm cooperating I'm with the case. About myself. That don't matter. We'll see. I, from Again, y'all might be right. And I saw actual me be clear. lawyers. Like, yes, actual lawyers say. He did not snitch. He did not snitch. They said, because what I saw the, the internet lawyers and people like that saying was his testimony by him confirming these things can now be used against Thug. No, the they actual, will be used against Thug. The actual lawyers were saying this particular type of plea, this Al, Al Ford plea deal that Thug Gunner has, this doesn't get used against the other defendants. And this, I saw this the allows... Stupid, I this, saw the lawyers say it. And this allows him to plead guilty and still maintain his innocence. I don't know what that means. That's a lie. I'm mm. That's a lie. It's not true. Okay. And the research that I did into that what I found was they're saying it don't affect no case because he can still go on the stand when they call him and they are going to call him. Mm-hmm. And say I plead the fifth, just like we're seeing with Kelsey. My deal is there already. I, I said what I said. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to further help you mm-hmm. to establish your case. I just think it's big money lawyer games. Mhm. I really do. I think it's big money lawyer games, and I think some of these defense attorneys are better than the prosecutors at finding the loophole to get all my clients free. So now they're gonna put send. They trying to send um, Thug away for a long, long, long time, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So let's just say hypothetically, the the two lesser niggas, it was a bunch of niggas, but two of the lesser niggas plead out already. Mm-hmm. Got said what they said, took whatever deals they took. If 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 everybody doing what they did individually, now Thug gets four years. Thug gets five years. I think that's a win for everybody across the board, even though I'm not the nigga doing the five years, so let me be clear with that too. Mm. But I think when you're looking at life, if you get five years, my nigga, you won. That's true. And you thug. So your time in jail ain't going to be, it's just time in jail. You get what I'm saying? Like, And you going to a Georgia State penitentiary, like, and you one of them. So your time in jail ain't going to be the same. By the time he go to trial, he going to already have three years in. You get what I'm saying? I'm just saying I think that these big-time lawyers start playing these games to make everybody come home. And if y'all crew, everybody come home, and niggas going to know who snitched and who did. I think we'll know if, if Thug embraces Gunner, if he mm-hmm. snitched or not. Because they got behind-the-scenes shit going on. See, and that's bullshit, toxic hip-hop shit. It is. I want to I wanna argue I agree that. With that. I want to argue that one. Because somebody, I saw the internet going with that one. Oh, we'll know if Thugger says or if Thugger's mad or if that. That don't tell me shit. Why don't it? Because Thugger is on trial for 99 bodies. That's why. Okay. So if he was mad, would he come out and say he's mad? Yeah. <laughs> no. At the end? No. No. Joe, you're bugging. I'm, At the end of Thug getting uh, uh, sentenced? If a nigga that's really built like that is really mad and really planning on doing something about him being mad, he is not going to publicly express any concern. Uh-huh. He's going to tell his sister, no, put quiet that down. That's what's going to happen. We have no way of ever knowing how Gunner really feels, I mean, how Thug really feels about Gunner coming out. We don't. And I don't believe for a second that he's excited, that, that Thug is excited that uh, uh, the son came right. home. You might be right. I don't believe that for a second. Fucking, um... What else? What else? You might be all right. I, I, I can't. You know what I'm saying? Speak to that. Rico I, means together. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know that. Stay, I, that. Stay I, better. I, I saw a lot of niggas say either we all, take, uh, we all take a plea or we all fight it. And as soon as people start co- uh, taking deals, it splits it up. We, it's going to hurt everybody. And that shit looked a little funny when, yeah, they, when they went in the court, both of them, and Thug was like, yo, you good? And he was like, uh, yeah, how are you? Like, fam, we know what's going on here. Gunner applied for bail 90 times. They denied him every time until you said what we needed you to say. And now you can leave. Yeah. That is the truth. Mm-hmm. Which made you look mad desperate. Made mm-hmm. you look mad weak. 
So they know sooner or later he And I might have done the same. I might have done the same. Every time we got to come talk about some of this hip hop shit, I start psychoanalyzing and it brings me back to all of this shit is fucking toxic. Mm -hmm. Gunner came home and they started releasing pictures of him and his family, his dad. He was hugging, warm, warm embrace. And I sat there just like looking at Tori and I said, oh shit, this guy got a family. I'm so used to you pushing P. I see you install this. You got you 900 million niggas with you. You don't look at them like The first know. time all of y'all be about to drop, I'm talking to all of y'all now. I don't have time to sugarcoat it. The first time all of y'all drop before a record come, you know what already hit, hit, hit in the hood? Y'all rap. Y'all rap. Yo, son, coming out of Alabama. Nah, he gets busy. Nah, son, nah, them niggas over there. Nah, that crew gets busy. It's true. For years, though. But we glorify it. Because that's how they break us to us. Listen, and one of them talks I had yesterday, they was, they psychoanalyzed worse than me. But they was like, well, yeah, Kanye's a nut. But yeah, the German, German engineer, and they came up with the engineering for the microphone. So that part is right, the mics that we use. But when you think about that, like, what does it really, really mean? They've been smart, so they came up with mad shit over there that we used, but what were they using it for? They were using it to spread this message of hate into these microphones. So now think about the microphones and what we say today and what it's used for to spread. But they was going crazy. <laughs> but it got me to thinking, look at, looking at Gunn and his family, who the fuck are you niggas, yo? Who are you niggas underneath all of this makeup and dreads and jewelry and oversized clothes. I don't know nothing about you niggas. Mm -hmm. No, you know what we want you to know. Yeah. And I can't be mad at it, right? Because, because, hey, I got my record deal this way. Since since the eighties, niggas have been getting that's that's the real conversation. If we want to get to the root of what's going on in music, go back to the root of music. It was always street niggas. Mm -hmm. You don't remember on uh, um the Black Album tour, the movie that came out. Mm-hmm. And then and Jay-Z was sitting in the office with Q-Tip. And it was two niggas in there. I don't know who they was, but they was rappers on Rockefeller. Mm-hmm. And they was like, yo, we, we got to say this shit. The nigga was like, yo, we got to say this. To get a deal, you got to say certain shit. And Jay-Z was looking at the mic like, yo, do you hear them? Like, these not street niggas, but they feel like they have to say certain shit to get this type of deal. All right, you have reached your nigga count for the day. I ain't going to lie to you. <laughs> You get what I'm saying? Like, yo, they feel as though they got to preach this type of message to even get a deal. Look, so at, to, now, look at today. No, so I'm saying that was fucking 15, yeah, 15 years ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So now, to fast forward, Joe saying, yo, we don't even hear about the artist and how good he can rap. We hear, yo, yeah, they be bodying. They be doing this. They be doing that. Yeah, yo, they be cool selling right mad bread. Mm-hmm. They mm-hmm. have mad keys coming from across and believe. Like, that's what we preaching to stamp them first mm-hmm. as real street dudes. We mm-hmm. stamp them. And then the music comes later, even if the music ain't that good. And now they go take all their money and buy a bunch of tanks and guns and bring it back to their people. There you go. Mm-hmm. Now it's lit. There you go. Which no. gets us more stamped and more yeah. certified. You know, it's a mess. Even it's if they mess. can't rap, ain't nobody going to tell them they can't rap. But I was telling somebody, right, like my respect level for the people that uh, introduced me to this stuff, part of why it's so high is because whoever they was, I didn't know. Whatever they did, I didn't know. Whatever rep, thoroughness, street card, I had no idea. They really was just talking to me, young 20-year-old 20, 20 kid from Jersey, about, about music. It was just about music. So God forbid if the day were to ever come where something were to happen, guess if you talk to Joe, guess what? I can't come to testify to nothing. No, no, no. I don't know nothing. Yeah. What are you talking about? Man, I'm going to tell y'all something off mic. But, but yeah. But if I were to ever go in court and say for the people that brought me in, hey, that's a gang. Like, even if I didn't know. Even what if I learned that from mm-hmm. the uh, court mm-hmm. or the prosecutor? Mm-hmm. And now I just agree to it. Like, ugh. Yeah. I knew he felt funny because that letter that letter he wrote out saying I'm not cooperating I'm not, I'm not snitching I'm not telling I'm not that came out before he was even let the seat back in the truck that was ready to go I don't think it's by coincidence because he knew how it was going to look mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you knew let me get ahead of that before y'all even put that out there you niggas be good kids yo 
That's true. Y'all be good kids people. and good, good people. people. Mm-hmm. And good every people. time something happened, right? Like to see that side of you, we got to go back to before the fame. That's mm-hmm. true. I got to see Offset pop locking before some money came. I got to see just people being sincere and who they are at their heart. This business just changes Yo, things. Dog, and, and, and y'all know I'm not. But even sitting here interviewing some of these people, mm. their reputations until they sit on this couch and we start laughing and joking. Mm. You be thinking this nigga's murder, death, kill. Right. And he sit on the couch and start cracking jokes, eating Cheetos. Off mic, we laughing and we joking. And you see a humanistic side mm-hmm. of this person that you've never seen, especially given across in the music. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. yo, we see a different side of these people. Facts. You be like, yo, him? But that's how it is even in the street. Like, some of these dudes that's killers, you might have known them since they was kids. Their mother got the best candy yams in the world. <laughs> you don't even look at him like that. Right. But they really be killing really people. Go. So it's a different game. But we do forget, but I think that's by design, that these people are real people and they got families and they got people that love them. Mm-hmm. And they come from good homes. Nigga, Jada Kiss, his father sat here and said they went to private school. Mm-hmm. And we was like, huh? <laughs> Blown away because we thinking he grew up. I'm turning this off. They have a lot of kitchens. That's him. That's Gunner. That's his real name. Sergio Kitchen. Hmm. Life will throw you some shit later that you've seen before. Like, I'm going to get to the square root of some shit here. This is the same shit to me. When yeah. you hear this, do you say that this is snitching, cooperating, or something else? <sighs> how, how I was raised... And by the people that raised me, he should have never even did the interview. He went on the news. Huh? He went on the news. I just said he should have never <laughs> I know, I'm saying. Should have never did the interview at all. You get what I'm saying? Like, you... To all the young dudes that really be wanting to be in the street, like, once you tie into the street, bro, you gotta... If that's what you're doing, that's what you gotta do. You can't conveniently be a street nigga when it's beneficial and then not... When it's not in your best interest, be a civilian. You, you can't do that. Side. But in music, you can. And that's where the problem and, is. And that's where the problem is. Because and, and depending on how much they like you, they'll welcome you back. Young Thug is a superstar at the label, carte blanche. If I bring somebody in, they're gonna be treated a certain way. True. Or sometimes the label will reach out. We see it in the Roddy Meek case. We see it with Game 50. Plenty of times a label will put somebody next to the person that's hot mm. so they could cult, uh, cultivate them and develop them. Even mm-hmm. if they cool or not. Yeah, I'm going mm-hmm. to send you to a game. Mm. Damn, <laughs> think about yeah, that. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. crazy. Think about that. I'm sending you to a game, and that's where you are, and put this chain on, put this on, run with them, mm-hmm. and get your shit off. But that nigga ain't nothing like this. Or I don't even know this nigga like that. But mm-hmm. when I see this person and he got... 90 people with them and I think oh that don't mean that these are your people that mean that these people are here to protect an investment one or mm-hmm. they just along for the ride or that but it's normally to protect an a, investment yeah, yeah, yeah. cause you can't ain't nothing gonna happen over there Mm-mm. that don't mean that you cut like that that means somebody's cut like that yeah sure. and somebody wanna make sure that you straight the person that's cut like that he ain't got time to keep running to the club with you he don't but he gonna send some people sure. this shit is a mess it's a mess Mess, mess. Since and all you, all you niggas is rats. It's since, fine. Stop breaking the law. Since we're on the, the subject of telling, cooperating, snitching, etc., um, T.I. admitted a while ago that he pinned a case on his dead cousin. Mm-hmm. Like he, it was the two of them, the court to charge together. The cousin passed away um, while they were on trial, I believe it was. And the lawyer told him, yo, if you go to court and say it was all him, you walk. I think he said, though, that he had already had the conversation. They had that conversation in the past. Like, mm. yo, if I'm dead and you can get away, nigga, good. What am I going to do, be mad? How we know that the dead guy said that? That's what we don't. I thought he was saying he had him talk to him like in a dream. I, we never know that the uh, dead guy said that. We don't know that. That's one. And two, make sure he just skipped this. He should have. I would have never even had that conversation, but I mean, what, what do we? What, I mean, there's rumors circulating around about T.I. forever. True. You believe what you believe. It's none of my business. I'm a civilian. I don't know the rules. I like his know. music. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> I, I, I like, that's I like, it for me. I like yeah. music. That's yeah. it for me. That, that's where it stops. You got a lot of slaps. Word. I mean, what, 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 do you feel that would be fucked up? 
My opinion if doesn't I'm, matter because no, I'm, I'm just a saying, civilian. But if you're looking at life in prison, or if I you're put that, at that shit on a family member that's alive. <laughs> right, well, that was my aunt. That's my aunt. She lived right there. Oh, one, two, three. Yeah. <laughs> I'm talking shit, but again, I, I try my best to not break the law today. Yeah, I'm, I'm cool today. Yeah, when man. I was young, I might have the energy to hop a fence or <laughs> try something or risk it. Mm-hmm. Today, I got too much to lose. Can't even explain it to somebody. I'm good. I just tell you, the jail be crowded and dirty. I don't even want to see that shit. Food Word. be fucked up. Be honest with you. I don't want my son's mom to even have to make up some line about where I went. Because mm. that'd be the disappointment. That's that's what fucked me up it, as uh as a kid, pop going to jail and mom just coming up with stories. Yeah, they told me my pops went was went away to school. <laughs> That's what it Yo, was. I heard that one before. Well, yeah, I've heard it before yeah. too. But now you listen know. to it. It's hilarious. And it's crazy as fuck. Like, yo, what school was you at for this fucking long, bro? What you doing? But yeah, yeah. then a couple different universities. <laughs> he came out. And once I was about 16, he told me what really happened. Mm. I was like, oh shit. Like I, I never questioned it. That's what they told me. Oh, you know. So went to school in Germany. <laughs> Switzerland. <laughs> Over there working for Rolex part time. <laughs> why? Why? Why you say that? I have it written. I want to ask y'all. Did, did, has your family ever told y'all why they cut your family off? Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. We hell yeah. cut nobody off. Yeah. No. Never. Oh no. My I, I cut a family member off, but we we literally just just about. Saying. I'm talking about like if, if a, a beef that predates you. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. My yeah. family tells. happened. My, my, me, me too. My family yeah. tells. Nope. She did this. She she mm-hmm. a thief. Yeah, how can yeah. we never go to Uncle So and So's house? <laughs> Thief. Uh, I like how he did X, Y, and Z. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that my family tells. Yep, they yeah. did X, Y, and Z. Mm-hmm. Don't fuck with them. Don't trust them. You ever get the other side though? Yeah. No, I do. I spoke because you've spoken about. I've spoken to both parties. I chose up. <laughs> no, I, I did. Yo, you even if you rock with one, yeah. When you see the other one, you don't really know. So they they embrace uh, you and you, they start talking. Oh yeah, no doubt. You know, yeah. you know. Now your favorite cousin can't spend the night no more. <laughs> you know what time it is. In my story, in my family, that shit turned out to be true. The bitch is a thief. <laughs> like, oh shit. You know what I'm saying? So. Should your family tell you about the, the beef that predates you? Yeah. I think so. I think so. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. It's understanding like why you can't why yeah. can't Sean come over here? Why don't I know my uncle like that? Why can't Sean come over here? <laughs> why don't I know my uncle? You're on the same whatever. age. They gotta tell you something. Yeah, I wanna know. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. No, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking about this. This something went viral. Say Lex had a first cousin, right? Let's say Lex had a first cousin. When he get about ten, they both play baseball. Mm. Why can't I go play baseball with my cousin? Nah, no, no. Put that bat down, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, go ahead and put that bat down. Go down here to the park. You get what I'm saying? Something's going viral on TikTok. It's uh, and they they. That's why I asked. It's about. Exposing your family traumas, and it's two girls. And the video starts with the girl saying, "Hey, I was molested uh, by Uncle Such and Such." And then, the, then the, uh, it did a pan. It cut to the uncle's daughter, which is her cousin, saying, "I am the daughter of him, um, Uncle Such and Such, this guy." And nah. We ain't rolling with none of that. So I exposed that. I'm not keeping nothing secret like they told me to. Yo, he did this. Keep nasty uncle away from us. And sure enough, 21 other girls came forward. No, get the, that no, creep nigga out. What the daughter say? That's what she was saying. The daughter was saying. Yes. About she confirmed pops. it. The video only started with the cousin saying, yo, I was molested with my uncle. That was all, all she said. Then the daughter's talking the rest of the way. Oh, oh shit. Getting rid of, shit. hey, get him. My dad is in jail right now. Open there. over there somewhere. <laughs> he should never come home. Really? Society today, we don't rock with pedophilia. You ne- yeah. That's fire. That's dope. <laughs> keep him keep you in the I had way. goosebumps. It's like, yo, the, the role of TikTok and and Media. these kids. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. These kids and their devices are powerful. Yeah. The, uh, the, the the lady from Gucci. She just came forward and said um that her uncle was molesting her their whole life. One of the powerful ladies from Gucci, like one of the, the up up niggas in Gucci, she she on she got a video mm-hmm. and yeah. she was talking about how my uncle was blah blah blah, mm-hmm. who is oh he was somebody. one of them oh, niggas, like, yeah, yeah oh. one of the top niggas, and he was fucking with me when I was a kid. Damn, she just released it, 
So you know they tied it right back to the Balenciaga and all that yeah, other yeah, shit. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, that one of the top chicks, like family members at Gucci, she named the nigga name all that. Mm. That shit is like, and so now these girls grow up, and we don't we think they crazy. They just been going through some they, shit they yeah. whole entire yeah. life. True, my nigga. true story. They really yeah. have been going through shit, and we can't really fathom it. Mm-hmm. And sometimes there's nothing you can do to help heal it. Heal it, yeah. You right. Don't look at me to say something. God damn it. I'm sad now. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell, yo? Oh, yo. Hey, we oh, do. On that. On, Enrique on, Iglesias. On the, on the That's another one of them, man. Enrique, Enrique Iglesias. Yeah, you know I mean. I think I worked with him. For real? Yo, them girls. Yeah, used to like I gotta find that slap. Them girls. <laughs> used to like him. They, they liked him. him. Mark no, they like Mark Anthony. Mark Anthony they too. loved yeah, yeah, yeah. Julio Iglesias. He, he, he tore in Julio he tore and Enrique. Fe- February, he'd be out here. Yeah, I was working with Steve Morales. Shout out to Steve Morales. And he was working with everybody that was huge in the world. So he was like, mm-hmm. yeah, I got Enrique Iglesias coming. He was making slaps for that. <laughs> I was like, man, if you don't give Yo, me a little, I can't get none of that. Bop, give bop, me a little eight bar over there. <laughs> You spoke a little Spanish on there? No, no my, my Spanish ain't rocking like that. While we on TikTok, uh, I want to say rest in peace to, to Stephen, Stephen Twitch Boss. Twitch. Yeah, man. Yeah, the dancer. I know him from Ellen. DJ. Y'all know him DJ from. DJ and dancer, yeah. Yeah, y'all know him from, uh, what was that, The Voice? Uh, the dancing show in I 2008. Yo, I didn't even know that. My, I knew him from Ellen. My girl... Called me, it was like, yo, you know Twitch. I'm like, who is Twitch? Mm-hmm. I'm thinking she talking about the shit Ice is on, <laughs> and I'm like that. And she's like, no, the dude that I always, cause my girl will send me videos. Him and his wife dance. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They got like fly dances and they be choreographing dope shit at their crib. Mm-hmm. And she was like, the dude that be dancing with his wife. I'm like, word. I didn't know he was on Ellen and all that other shit. But yeah, to to the mental health piece, like you really never know what somebody's going through because. From an outside lens, mm-hmm. they looked as happy as, happy as they, that's the part that they was looked like the model up. couple. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit was crazy. That part continues to be spooky for me, I'll be honest. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I never seen something where every single video posted is just a smile and joy. cheer Pure and joy. And joy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like life is just you winning at life. Mm-hmm. You really winning. Like he looked like he that's, was winning. That's one. Ellen, Ellen's been on forever. Yeah, it just, on just, or just, off? On, just recently got off. Ellen Maybe recently got two, off. Two, three years? Yeah, something like that. Like that. Could have been. But not only that, to imagine where somebody's, a parent's brain and heart has to be to self-transition right before the holiday. True. Mm-hmm. 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 We always say the holidays is a, they a tough. lot, holidays, a lot yeah. on, they tough. on people. But I don't even know where you got to be to plan that. Because he planned it. He left his car you at home. You have to plan it, yeah. Left mm-hmm. his car at home, went to a hotel, checked into a hotel. And they said his wife came home and his, ha- and his car was home. Mm-hmm. And he wasn't, which was and He odd. wasn't there, which was unusual. Mm-hmm. So she like put out the APB or went to the police station or whatever the case may be. Like, yo, his car's home and I can't find him. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, they found him. Mm-hmm. But they said that he wrote a note. I don't want to know what's on the note. Oh, I didn't hear yeah, that part. Man. He wrote a note. They didn't yeah. disclose the contents of the note. Thank gotcha. God. Yeah. I don't want to know. We don't need to know what was in that note. I don't want to know. Somebody's going to find out and put it out, but I don't know. Of course. I don't know. They, but we don't, we don't I, need to I know I that. feel for his kids and his wife for real. right now. You, you're just not planning on going through that. Mm-hmm. Ugh. Come on, let me find a record. Yeah, please. Yeah, pick let me us, pick find us Rest in peace, Twitch, man. That's, and Columbus Short, shut the fuck up. Shut up. What Columbus Short did? Hate these niggas. Just talking too much. Niggas that we used to He's love just, and cheer for on about Scandal. About Shorty, Columbus Short from Putting Scandal. Scandal. I like Columbus Short. Uh, you, know, well, you probably, well, what you didn't have that? the internet when he went on his run yeah. of bullshit. He's been doing bullshit oh, for really? a He's been a kook for a while. He was getting high. He, he was doing other things, too. Mm. Anyway, he gave his reason for why he thought this was happening. Like, mm-hmm. are you that sick? Are you that sick in the head right now? Fucking nuts. I had a list of people that need to shut the fuck up. Columbus Short is on. Who else is on my list? Oh, I'll turn this down for a second. Romeo Miller, he also disturbed me with his cryptic message, which was, you know, it's people out there ignoring their kids, suicide, uh, suicidal thoughts, and depression to post a picture of a man that they didn't know at all. 
Again, it could. We don't know. We don't know what he said. It. <laughs> I'm saying we don't know if he's accurate. We don't know if he's need to shut the fuck up. He might not need to shut the fuck up. You get what I'm saying? Everybody got different information, so. They put cheese around Gunner's car? Yeah, some dude found found his car and <laughs> started throwing cheese at it. <laughs> <laughs> it's the internet, man. What? Yeah. I'll allow it. Yo, oh, yo, y'all, can y'all tell me I was right? I'll allow it. Can y'all well, tell me I was right? Oh, is this the tell me I was right portion yeah, of the yeah, show? Yeah, let's yeah. do Let it. Let me get my tell me I was right. Oh, in, let's man. do it. The dude, TJ Holmes from uh, Good Morning America, you see the new pictures with him and Shorty out and about? Uh-uh. Nice and happy, holding hands. They fired him. I'm still with Shorty. I got what I wanted. I'm free. Oh, who said you was wrong? I told you. He hired that private investigator, bro. Mm. That was my way out. I don't think he wanted to get his fi- fired, I, though. But or, you might be right. Or, or, or could have. Can I get into my, my I was yeah, right segment? Yeah, come on. Get some. So Dr. Umar went to see Wakanda forever. <laughs> Did he? This is great. What was his review? Super. No disrespect to the Mexican community. <laughs> no, that means disrespect. You have a right to your own heroes and Mexican children have a right to see their heroes in their own image. No, that's true. I totally support the right that. of Mexican children to see heroes in their own image. Yeah, that's true. So respect to the Mexican community. That's all, gang. With that being said, <laughs> oh, I did not take my children <laughs> to see Black Panther 2 so they can watch Mexican superheroes <laughs> whip the shit out of black <laughs> superheroes. I'm <laughs> I don't care if you don't like it. As far as I'm concerned, it was a total disgrace to watch a movie where everything black children <laughs> held sacred about the Wakandans <laughs> was shown to be possessed <laughs> by the underwater <laughs> Mexicans. <laughs> Great, Vibranium was supposed to be was, native to Wakanda. That's true. But Ryan Coogler and whoever <laughs> else wrote that horrible <laughs> screenplay gave the underwater Mexicans <laughs> Vibranium too and made them as strong as the Wakandans. Why would you build up Black Panther as strongly as you did in the first movie only to turn around and tear the damn thing down? The Mexicans were clearly stronger than the Africans in that movie. The Mexicans were whipping our ass the whole movie. That's true. The Mexican leader, and I forget his name, he got no more, more no screen more. time in the movie than the Black Panther yeah, did. Yeah, and he's, and he's a movie rest. is about All black, black Hero Panther, emphasis on black. <laughs> Why are our children in the movie theater watching <laughs> an underwater Mexican <laughs> hero get more screen time than the black hero? In- <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you. I was waiting for him to call him. <laughs> I was just waiting for it. Yo. Bleep that, please. Tanner, please. Yo. I was waiting for it. I, I haven't you seen it yet. Underwater. It's similar Mexican. to what you said. I ain't gonna lie. Underwater. You said exactly what I said. Mexican. You just left out the romance part. <laughs> How did Super Sub make us think that shit was ours and then the Mexican nigga underwater got all the shit? He got more than us. <laughs> you said it. Yo, Dr. Umar, so like, he gotta come up here. You nah, said he's it. No, nah, nah, he got to come up here. Nah, he just um, he he said some. He said a lot of really good shit lately. Wait, look like, at the, I've been watching him. He's been saying a lot of good shit lately. Wait, yo, I ain't gonna lie. Wait, look at the kids on TikTok getting rid of Jennifer Lopez. The a celebrity was rude to you, Jennifer Lopez. Same, and I'm gonna try to tell them really quickly two stories about Jennifer Lopez being an awful human being. <laughs> so number one, when she has drivers, the number one rule she has for them is they can't look at her, they can't talk to her, and her luggage is never allowed to touch the ground. If any of those that's things all happen, that's she will go out of Folks her way to road, make sure you get no, that's true. Even if you have to look in the rear view mirror while you're driving, she will call that you trying to look at her and proceed to berate you. you just and I know this because my dad worked for that driving company and he refused to drive her 
whenever she came in town no, because of how awful she treated the drivers. Second story, she, got your dad she out of here. was with Ben, I believe at MGM or whichever oh, casino. You, snitching. And snitching. Ben's a great tipper and he respects service workers. Oh, you're and to fuck so ben. he tipped a lot of people <laughs> a lot of money. She's trying to fuck Ben. Uh-oh. Jennifer <laughs> goes around to each of those people and takes back the tip <laughs> and gives them maybe five <laughs> Maybe. She is an awful person. Shorty. Or she just saved a lot of money. Yeah, lie. you need a girl that can Yo. Go help watch, Yo, help people could just pockets. get on TikTok and give whole accounts. Let me tell you about Joe <laughs> Budden. <laughs> Chill, because they'll start doing that shit, too. I don't know. Well, they, can they say anything worse about me? <laughs> <laughs> no, I maxed out. Yeah, yeah, you good. <laughs> you kind of good. I'm maxed yeah, out. You kind of good. Yeah, I don't have no more extra lives. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get the hundred life cheat code. I'm done. <laughs> One more story about Joe come out, and <laughs> you better hire me. <laughs> you better return a favor. No doubt. You better return a favor. I'm coming to build some shit. You know, no doubt. <laughs> All right, man. All right. What else is important or or unimportant? A couple of the um, Trump NFT. Excuse me. <laughs> Did you, see, you didn't see the Trump NFT? You see the Trump NFT? No. Them shits I'm not copying no NFT. So, but nah, I might cop this one. Yeah. I might cop this the one. Them shits is one? hilarious, it's bro. Dope, He's in like the superhero outfit He's with a... laser eyes. He's riding the fucking rocket. Shazam Trump. He's riding the uh, <laughs> uh, uh, elephant. They got him in all types of shit. And that's with whom... That you, shit is and, that, and this is with whom you want to place your faith. So, all right, so the only people with NFTs are the apes and Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Oh, and the dudes that were selling my face as a JPEG. They did that too? They body. got you? They didn't look like my face, yeah. I don't know if it was me, but it they looked like They made some me. money? I don't know. I wouldn't know. I ain't buying an NFT. I ain't opening this Bitcoin thing in about a year. <laughs> I ain't opening yeah, my shit. I ain't opening that. I ain't never opening that. I'm not opening that. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't opening that shit neither. Stupid ass or you lose your dude. <laughs> 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 stupid, stupid ass pump. All these niggas. That yeah, came what was the dude that we had? Pump, pump, yeah. pump. Take all your money in Bitcoin. Put all yeah. your money in Bitcoin. Yeah, I bet, buddy. That oh shit is up. God, he was on some bullshit. Yeah, he said Yo, that. Hey, Parker, see your man Elon Wilding again? What do you do now? I blocked everybody, right? Yeah, blocked all the journalists. <laughs> and all the tech journalists. You got him the fuck out of here. So it was a dude. Some some twenty year old kid created a um, like an algorithm to follow his his jet. Yeah. So whatever any movement the jet makes. Cause it's public information, mm. like you know, any flights that are in the air. So it's a it's a Twitter page he made. So anytime the jet has any movement, it all automatically tweets it out. Mm. Elon said, "All right, yo, my, my man, I'll give you five thousand dollars to stop." Mm. Like, no, <laughs> all right, suspend it. So then any journalist that reported on it, suspend yeah, it. I'm out of <laughs> That's some bullshit. I ain't mad at that. I'm dog. I ain't mad at that. People were saying he, people was mad at Elon. I'm like, if I bought Twitter, I'm going to shape it exactly. Uh, Nigga, you could say. I don't give a you, fuck if it's whatever public you information want or me. not. Every place that my car goes, I don't want the public knowing. Security. That's a security risk. Yeah, it's, it's doxing. It's about, doxing. Yeah. I think you should be banned for doxing. I completely agree. But there were some journalists, I think, uh, got thrown in there probably yeah. arbitrarily that yeah. just maybe have reported bad shit on him. Like Keith Olbermann was blocked, and I don't know what he, I don't know what he'd be on. So that's my man, yeah. Keith Olbermann. Yeah, yeah, he was just blocked. Don't let Keith Olbermann back on. He's you know what funny, I mean? Yo. There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a bunch of like fairly prominent journalists and shit that he got out of here. Don't let me, basically. don't let me buy Twitter. It's gonna be a lot worse than that. But then you ain't gonna have a Twitter. Nah, Elon Musk one. is gonna have wasted this forty four billion dollars unless he does something spectacular that we just don't know about. Which is possible. He's a genius. Or he or he's a smart guy. I wouldn't say genius, but all right. No, right. I think he might have wasted his money. Yeah, if I, I was I, a super I smart he techie dude, I'd come out with the new Twitter and have everybody come over there to my shit. You no, know, the funny shit is people have tried that. Yeah, there's a couple of them. There's a couple of them. Yeah. And you know what he did? <laughs> like, if you try to put the link on actual Twitter, block that too. Like, I, I'm just saying, to, let, to let people too. know, like, hey, yo, look, we over here now. No, no, no. Nope. Can't even mention it. Y'all better hope that he make his money back. Because otherwise he's going to just keep fucking around. He's going to take y'all information right over to Putin or somebody. He's going to take, <laughs> take his hard drive. Yo, nah, right here. this is where these niggas live. You look. <laughs> you go all day data right here. We got the last 12 years of their whole life. You mm. want this or nah? He going to get his money one way or the other. Hey, Twitter spaces or he's selling compromised, compromised information. <laughs> he gonna dox us. He gonna dox everybody. <laughs> that's, you, right. that, that's smart, I ain't. Yeah. 
Yo, look where your brain be at, yo. No, he can get his. Yeah. That, that boy good. smart. 44 what? Which is how much? Yeah, he gonna get his money. That's crazy. And Glorilla gonna get her money, yo. Not too much of Glorilla. <laughs> What they do with Glorilla? Glorilla's my favorite person, I yo. Love I love Glorilla. I love her so much, I almost thought about coming in here to get Ice Spice out of here, but I ain't going to start looking. I ain't going to do that. Because I don't like how they did that. I don't like how the New York new hot girl, they trying to let fade away, and the Memphis hot girl, they try to fucking just, just keep coming with slaps. Oh, I mean, <laughs> who the Memphis hot girl sound to? Uh, the Memphis hot niggas. Who the New York hot girl sound to? Some nigga. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ta-da! Sound to some nigga. Ta-da! Nah, they got to find another slap nah, for uh, Shorty. That, they do. They got to find another. Shorty can rap. Like, we, don't, busy. we don't know if Ice Spice can Yeah, if Ice Spice too. got more ass. Than... Everybody don't care about that. I know. I'm just talking shit. <laughs> I'm talking shit. She's looking um, for, she's trying to get a um. Glorilla's a looking assistant. for a personal assistant. She's willing to pay you $550 a week. And that's not including the flights and stuff. Because y'all going to be traveling. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. She gonna pay for your flights and your hotels. Nah, you gotta so say that, it like Glorilla. I don't know how to talk like her. Say it like Project Pat would. I don't, I don't know how to talk like him neither. <laughs> I love the uh, celebrities posting their jobs on social media now. Yeah, there's been a couple of them. It's been some pretty good. Posting ones. their no. old job. No, no, no. posting that I'm job looking offers. for. Yeah, yeah. Like it's well, like, like indeed. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because celebrities want y'all to work for like nothing, mm -hmm. right? And somebody gonna do it too. We'd be glad to take that job. <laughs> that job is a mess. For the look. That for job. The they love the look. And networking. The you know, they tell you the networking. You know. Sell they yeah, ass. They love to sell you on some networking. Sell they ask for some frame, <laughs> some fame, boy. No <laughs> some bullshit. Ne networking. You know, you get to shake hands, meet people, and you know. Mm. Meet, I like Franklin and them. You Facts. Keep, keep letting me meet them. Facts. Hamilton and Frank. And my niggas. And. I think if people would like, if I had to say about Glorilla in bed, she is nasty, Y'all be doing some nasty, like, y'all do some shit that I never heard of. <laughs> like what? We need the examples. Ooh. Okay, so y'all do drink nut right. Yeah, so everybody yeah. swallow. Okay, we just swallow, say swallow. Yeah. Drink nut sound like, nasty. Drink nut <laughs> does sound nasty. <laughs> I actually had to think about we what she swallow. said. Swallow. I swallow, I don't drink she nut. She might have been drink nut, though. But yeah. I'm looking swallow forward to it. They call that bukkake? Like, spicy. <laughs> Ah, uh, this is it's just so corny to me. Oh my god, boy, it's like, <laughs> hey, yo, uh oh, I'm scared. Genius, it's some weird shit, but okay, type is we just got done eating right. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. <laughs> no, just hey, tell us, tell us. It's YouTube bar in now. This, yeah. And y'all complain right, so about male podcasters. We got six right out and some food, and I'm gonna still eat it. So if you've been nothing, I know that my food, I'm gonna eat. <laughs> That's now, what she said. What she said was, if he nuts in my food, I'm going to eat it. She said, if you nut in my food, I'm going to eat it. That's what she said. I like this girl, yo. Because <laughs> she's a nut. Who's nutting in the food? One of them little dirty. Weird <laughs> my fuck is out here, The dog. fuck nigga that she got away from. <laughs> You'll do it. That's the ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but she said it like if you act, hey, if you I, just happen you to not, on the no, phone. she said she'll tell him to do it. No, she, yeah, she'll tell him to. Uh, no, no, no. Yo, she said if I got some fries left or something, not on my fries. fries so and she gonna continue it. to eat it. I mean, and y'all thought that your Chipotle sauce was the one. <laughs> I mean, what I'm gonna say? Little Polynesian. Polynesian. Oh, they want that Joe Paul, saying, Joe right? Paul right there, them fries right there. <laughs> you want that Chipotle? <laughs> Oh yeah, if she asked for it, I guess. I'm like, yeah, hey, what are we talking about? I thought it was, I thought she was saying like, if you if you just hey, happen to nut up the food, I'm gonna eat the food. And you think like your that. assistant's coming to clean that McDonald's Word. for five hundred and fifty dollars <laughs> a week? Whole five hundred dollars. Ooh, her and Summer Walker just start a temp agency. Did <laughs> <laughs> somebody else post one too? They was looking for um, assistant. I forgot. Oh, 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 I hope it was Meek. Damn. Oh, <laughs> I want Meek. One. I want yeah. Meek to uh, Meek on get in the Indeed race. Wiz or somebody popped up like, I need a blunt roller. <laughs> Swag. But Wiz was paying. I think he had like 50 or 60 grand a year, 75 grand a year just to roll Just to months. roll weed. Yeah. I'm going to kill Ian yesterday. Ian talking about, come on, let's get some money away on Ant. I'm like, all right, that's a good idea. It's the holidays. I'm down to get some money away. I'm mm -hmm. blessed and fortunate. Let's mm -hmm. do it. How you want to do it? I take some phone calls, just see what they want to do for the holidays, who they want to do it for. I'm like, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Get on Ant and I execute. Like mm -hmm. a star talent would. Hey, man, you taking some calls right now. Anybody got something special that they want, uh, somebody special they want to do something special for, call us up, let us know. Here they come. Now, I talk to Ian in the back end. Yo, get the name of their cash apps. I'm going to text you what to send them, depending on what the story is. Make it nice. 
Mm-hmm. Here they come. Yeah, man, my grandma is dying of cancer. We always normally spend Christmas together. This year I'm unable to because I'm traveling and down on my luck a little bit. It'd be nice if I could just send my dying, if I could just take a trip to see my dying grandma and take her to dinner or just something for our last Christmas together. That'd be awesome. I'm texting Ian, yo. Send such and such. Where your grandmother live? He was far. She lived over here somewhere. Oh, I thought, he was far. I thought you was mm-hmm. about to say grandma just so happened to live in um, Turks. <laughs> no. Dubai or something. No, but if you hear a story like that, like mm-hmm. what, what, mm-hmm. Would you, what, would you, what would you send over? <laughs> if I had it, had it? Yeah. Stack? 500. 500, right? 500 sounds about right for a round trip. Stack? Something. I mean, you want to take it to dinner too? It's the yeah, holiday. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Stack. At least if you want, if you want to be cheap, three fifty. Yeah, yeah, a little can't spirit. Get, can't you get can't do a, you a little frontier. If he far, nah, man. <laughs> what what, 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 what he said? What he did? Yeah. <laughs> what he <end> did, yo? <laughs> Game on it all. Yo. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you came out of I'm taking a grandma yeah. to McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> Fam, you can't even Uber eat that. That's going to run over the hundred dollars. Word. Fam, uh, if dogs. I get a Chipotle uh, wrap from up the street, that shit is thirty something dollars to come here. <laughs> but Ian, look at some soulless, right? It take me to come add the soul. <laughs> like Ian just looking at it. Yeah. And, and he got the nerve to send me to thank you. The kid was happy about it. Oh my God, I got a, I got some money from Joe Bud. <laughs> he told him some thank you. I said, Ian, if you make me listen to somebody's dying grandma <laughs> again for a hundred dollars. For you to send them a hundred dollars, me and you are gonna fight. I don't operate like that. Don't, Duh, don't embarrass me. What word? You yeah, don't make yeah, the yeah, big no, that is. You don't make the big announcement. Announcement of, the only You're giving money out to give to somebody give twenty and forty dollars. That's true. That's like putting the camera on a homeless person, giving them a dollar. Same thing to me. Same yeah, yeah. That's yeah. true. Like, and, are you doing the shit or are you just trying to true. get some... No, I had that, Brendan, like, hey, I just want to uh, take my family out to a nice dinner or something like that. It's not $100. Depending still, on where they live. Still not $100. Depending on where they Parks, live. How they, big is a family? Don't even get no money away if you just I don't think y'all ever leave New York City. Bro. You don't get no money no, away if you Yo, dog, you yeah. I agree yeah, with you, but it. I would. That's I could see... Parks, we could go to Cracker Barrel in Virginia. Me, you, and Ice. You could take a four piece to Cracker Barrel in Virginia for hundred dollars. No, you cannot, bro. <laughs> no, you cannot. <laughs> Yo, that all you can eat me like twenty four dollars. I don't think you guys ever leave New York City. I do though. Wow, that Often. hurt. That hurt. <laughs> I do though. Wait, my whole family but, lives wait, in Virginia. When that, I go to Shoney's with my mother, me and my mom, the the bill is sixty dollars at man, Shoney's. You can't say that to me, Ish. You and Ice be over here. We move around. What you mean? Ice right, don't be over here. Well, you and Parks are at the bottom of the travel. Like, yo, oh, Sho- I'm not dead ass. Shoney's. Like, my mom lives by Shoney's. Mm-hmm. So if I, if I go down there, we'll go to Shoney's. Mm-hmm. Dog, that shit is like $60 for me and my mother. You look like a Shoney's ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just yeah. mad. Y'all just let I me like say Shoney's Cracker Barrel first. I like nobody, Sho- well, Cracker Barrel's good, though. On brand. And Cracker Barrel, not cheap. On brand. <laughs> well, I don't go in Cracker Barrel. Me neither. I've never been to a Cracker Barrel. I don't fuck with Cracker Barrel. Corey, you've been to Cracker Barrel. They might as well put a noose outside. In <laughs> fact, I'm not going to Cracker Barrel, though. No, I'm dead ass. <laughs> what are you talking I'm about? I'm never going to Cracker Barrel. I'm so lost. It I, just I know. feels that's, that's privilege. It feels wrong. No, it don't feel. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's called Cracker Barrel? I'm more than that. <laughs> Look at the menu. They got collard greens on there? Yes. They got anything black? Oh shit! Uh, no, they don't. Not no, they don't. no, they don't. No, they don't. I'm not eating uh, a cr- cracker barrel collard greens. Hey, y'all got- made with iceberg lettuce? <laughs> yeah, I'm cool. But you'll, shocked, eat the, but you'll eat the rat from the Chinese. Yes, yes, 100. percent I'm yes. actually gonna get some of that today. You niggas <laughs> real off, bro. But it's all right. But no, you can't spend a hundred dollars and get no food from the bottom. I'm just saying that you could do different tiers for different things. But the plane ticket should have absolutely been for the hundred dollars. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy, Ian. Wait, Ian. Yeah, man. Y'all fuck is $100 for somebody for Christmas. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> the trial is making me mad anxious for new Meg music. It's doing the opposite for me. Not me. I want to hear that shit. Get your shit off. It's making me anxious for new Tory music. Well, that, y'all kind of know what it's going to be. But if Meg just come out, yeah, I lied on that nigga. Yeah, I lied on that nigga. I lied, I lied, I lied, I lied, I lied on that nigga. <laughs> Got some lying ass <laughs> pussy. <laughs> you shoot at me, but I bust back. Hey, that shit's up. Just make a song. Yo, I want to hear whatever's coming out of the song. Oh, I want to hear the Kelsey diss track that's coming. You can't just come out of travel and start twerking again. Nah, we got to get Cerebral. <laughs> we gotta get cerebral now. I know it's some heat coming. Yo, what's wrong with this? 
New new single, career I, ender. I bust back. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I want to hear it. I do. Uh, all right, what else? What else? Yo, real quick. I know y'all out there don't care. In New York, they passed some shit that said that people could just go around the streets and pick homeless people up off the street and send them somewhere involuntarily. Oh, yeah, yeah. We tried to talk about that. And, uh, we, yeah, but it, but it, yeah, no, but it, it picked up a little bit for me because yeah. now I'm on the news watching them niggas try to pick people up off the street Getting and bring stuck. them places because a health center called or some shit. Mm -hmm. Now, y'all getting money off that shit, which is the part that y'all are leaving out of there, mm -hmm. number one. But number two, they tried to appeal it. They tried to appeal the decision for you to involuntarily move someone somewhere, and they were denied, which lets which confirms for me just how much it's, big it's money, money play. Yeah, it's is it's in this. Definitely money. Also, what was news to me, if anybody cares out there, uh, it said like uh, thirty percent or forty percent of homeless people leave whatever place they at when you bring them somewhere. Yeah, because like, you we, can't hold them involuntarily. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. I'm it's leaving. Jail. Yeah, the fuck. I, I want to be here. And if they rather be homeless, I'm not with. I, I'm not with involuntarily moving people places. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not with that. Homeless or not, you should be able to make a decision. Like if I want to be out here fearing, fearing from when the story first broke, I I was kind of with it because there's people running around murdering homeless yeah. people. Mm -hmm. So and there's been some incidents and, with homeless people yeah, some on the train. Where homeless people are uh, mentally off a little bit, throwing people on the train are, track, and they're, and they're uh, harming people, uh, yeah, yeah. harassing and harming people. Also, that part so. I don't really care about because sane people do that. <laughs> sane people do that shit too. They kick people off the thing. Uh, but the other one for their protection, like where some random guys just run around stabbing Maybe, or beating really people with a bat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude was beating. Yeah. They had it on camera where he was beating a dude. Happened in my, in my neighborhood a couple of years ago. A homeless dude, uh, uh, they killed him or some shit. I forgot what the exact story no, was. They, they showed the dude hitting the dude with the bat. It was different. It looked like some real like TV shit. I was mm. like, huh? Yeah, like, you got to be a little. Yeah, you got to be crazy yeah. to hit somebody with a bat. Yeah. It's like stabbing somebody. Like, you got to be a different type of crazy. See why that hoodie expensive. <laughs> Did his job? That shit is insulation. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> All right. Uh, that was my homeless announcement. Sorry. All right. Sorry. Nah, no, yeah. no. I just Wait, thought it was important. It is important. It uh, is important. What else? Y'all see the new uh, NBA trophies that they're doing? Yes. For regular season one? Yeah. Yes. I, I didn't know they did a bunch. They did all of them shits. They got the uh, a clutch award. The, yeah, there's a clutch award. Which is, hold on, I got the whole list here. Uh, and you got the names. Got Will the Chamberlain names. is the rookie of the year award. Michael now. Jordan MVP. Hakeem DPOI defensive player. Mm -hmm. Will Chamberlain rookie of the year. Six man John Havlicek. Most improved George Mikan. I know your pops gonna be mad at me for not knowing who that is. Still, uh, clutch player Jerry West. Pop, and I'm got not mad at most. Pop's gonna be mad at me too. <laughs> wow. If you don't get John Havlicek and John Mike, George Mike and the fuck out of here. I, well, I just kids can't be rookie of the year, man. Put John Havlicek yeah, in front of like, Steph Curry right now. I'm not mad at all. That's the part that is weird <laughs> to me is it's presented by Kia, so your trophy got Kia written on it in big block letters. Oh, you damn right yeah. it got Kia written on it. You was giving them billions out to uh, yeah. Presented NBA, by NBA Parks. is selling <laughs> yeah. ass. They are. They yes. are selling ass. Go on, they had to find a way to get more money from Kia. <laughs> we can't just keep putting a Kia for the air for Blake Griffin Blake to jump Griffin, over. Uh, Blake Griffin can't even dunk no more, so he can't keep jumping over the car. <laughs> Fuck you doing? Shout to Blake Griffin. He's sold spaces on the jerseys. You wouldn't feel what you thought. Nah, but you wouldn't feel a little way if you got a trophy that shit said Kia on it. Nigga, no. no. <laughs> okay. that, Yo, dog. Kia's are nice now. They are nice. They are. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not Kia shaming. I'm just. Right. Right. I'm just uh, got nice I would be mad if I had an insurance company on my shirt that looked like I play in China. Nah, I'm not tripping off that. Yo, I don't, that, I don't love that. More I don't love that. That shit looks tacky. That shit is terrible. Huh? I don't want it. Louis no, Vuitton I don't want any type of brand on it. What if, they, what if in 10 years you find out that Kia is a terrible company? And I'm, again, I'm not Kia mm -hmm. shaming, but put any brand there. God, God. And now your fucking prize trophy of your career is got some nasty shit attached to it. Came with oh, a I'm so glad that you yeah. said Yeah, that. no, I'm just talking about that. I still got my goddamn trophy. They ass, though. My contract yeah. incentive. For yeah, 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 fuck yeah, you yeah, talk. yeah. That shit could... Nah, I'm, I'm almost... That shit, came that with shit could say a lot of things on it. I don't care. shit right off. Chevrolet. I'm gonna scrape that shit right off. No, they would probably recreate That shit could have a on it. Give me my money. This is different. Tanner. This guy is different, yo. What's wrong with you, son? Damn. 
What are you, what are you playing at? Gee, electric I... car, if you want one. But no diesel-powered emergency backup vehicle or electric power generator for you. Buy some stock in Tesla. That's probably the best bet on that front. But you don't approve of the likes of Elon Musk, do you? Stop flying. <laughs> Stop driving, for that matter. Get on your bike instead in your three-piece business suit. In the winter, if you dare, I'll splash you with icy and salty sludge as I drive by in my evil but warm Ford Bronco SUV and help you derive the consequent delicate pleasure of your own narcissistic martyrdom. <laughs> oh shit, you go there. Save the planet the with your own choices. He talking. <laughs> but quit demanding that the rest of us blindly follow your diktats. I play that to say, if my shit says Kia, <laughs> then it just says Kia. I'm done taking a stand. Life is short, yo. Fair enough. I'm sitting now, a lot down. Of it be I'm sitting down. Too though, a it's, lot of it be hypocritical. Like yes, sir. the vegan yeah. niggas be That's knocking what he's talking niggas. About, yeah. yeah, yeah. I understand. Like the vegans be knocking you, but. <laughs> you drive a Hemi, my nigga. Shit, like, <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? You get what I'm saying? Save like, yo, dog, planet. do you? Save I'm not planet. mad that you vegan. Don't critique nobody. Like, I'm joking when I be like, y'all niggas be eating oink. But mm. I'm not, I don't give a fuck. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm not knocking somebody else. Them no, niggas they be show. Nah, you be a little passionate no, about certain uh, shit. Uh, TikTok showed me some <laughs> cancerous pigs they cutting up. <laughs> cutting the tumor out the pig and all that shit. Yeah. Pig be pussing. They feeding, me, they, right they feeding us the cancer pigs, yo. <laughs> them niggas look like the janitor with the big shit off his ear. <laughs> Remember the big the shit? That, shit is that side. what it is? <laughs> The big shit hanging off it, it like a yo, nut, like a ball. With you, yo? <laughs> when I was a kid, I had trouble with them niggas. Yo, <laughs> I, I, that's, Stupid, before, yo. that's before I learned you couldn't stare at people. <laughs> <laughs> yo, how old was you when you learned you couldn't stare or point at people? I used to be young. Wow, look young. at him. <laughs> look at him, mom. Yo, oh, my mom, man. what's that on his ear? Yo, dad. My grandmother always told me a story about when, yeah, yeah, young. Yeah. You just kids don't be thinking. You just say whatever come to mind because they're pure and innocent. <sighs> yeah, mm -hmm. but that pure innocence can get you a pure ass whooping. <laughs> now they just be curious and they don't really be knowing that they're yeah. offensive. Yeah. Yo, yo my, my niece told a nigga one time, "Yo, what's wrong with your lip?" Her father was like. <laughs> 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 Word up, yo, they all know, yo, that's hilarious, dog. Yo, oh, man. Who, why you say Chris Paul dirty, yo? Oh, no, the footage is, uh, what's the old, they got the, uh, it's mad old shit. Chris Paul is the, the ultimate competitor. They, they got the new fed fuck. guy that goes in and starts investigating everyone's carries and shit. Oh, yeah, that's my man. It's corny, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he got a style. Nah, he's got a style. He's corny. Corny. No, he's hilarious. I don't like that. I just it's don't corny, like when he yo. calls out the carries because clearly Carry. the NBA has, it has allowed changed. It has carrying changed. now. But it's that other shit, <laughs> them walks, yo. yeah, yeah. Some of the walks be crazy. The walks is crazy. They do me. They get the ball and just start walking up, <laughs> literally walking without Taking putting steps. the ball on the floor. Bah, 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 bah. But in real time, it's different. Like when they, because now you have put the the the, the John Morant uh, inspectors out, they be killing them. But they be breaking it down in slow mo. But in real time, they don't necessarily look that. Because he fast as hell. Them niggas beat the Bucks by about fifty points. Forty hey, something, man. Hey, he had a hey, triple double. Hey, hey. <laughs> I don't care. John Morant, let him get the calls. Oh, also, no, no, hold up. 90 seconds on everybody sports team. Hold up. 90 seconds on everybody sports team except Joe. Not too much on Joe. <laughs> Not too much on Joe. At came here last part, we had a lot going on. We ain't get to our sports section. True. Mm -hmm. I don't have nothing to say. We ain't ready for prime time. We got smacked. Get mm -hmm. us out of here. I'm done with that. Mm -hmm. Ice should be down with me, but y'all still got a chance, right? It's It's fleeting. Parks and Ish I'm more interested in because of their teams and every week is a new adventure. It is. Especially it with is. us. Losing that game hurt us. Now, I was especially in the parks because, come on, you, wa you, watched, you watched your man go up against the boy. I did. I did. Now, <laughs> take it away. Uh, Mike McDaniel called an absolutely horrible game. Absolutely horrible game. Why are you throwing every first down 15 yards down the field? Like, you have to do more than that. You can't just rely on bomb plays. And you, I know you want to, Tua and him both want to prove that Tua can have an arm. He's done that. Cool. Like, don't be stupid. Like, you just, uh, on the other side, um, homeboy, your, your man, your man crush, 
he's getting most of his shit right behind the line of scrimmage and within five yards. He's just ding, dip, 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 moving the chains. And they're over here just throwing it away. Bro, I seen him on a run just Terrible, some dude. underhanded throw shit. And you just be like, yo, what are you doing? Nigga look like Spider-Man out there just doing some <laughs> bullshit. Yeah. Herbert played a great game. Got to give him credit. And the defensive uh, scheme they came up with was, was great. And we lost. Hey, real quick on sports. I just want to shout out to everybody that made the fantasy football playoffs in here. <sighs> you know what I'm saying? There's a couple of us in here. There's a couple of y'all in There's here. a couple of us in here. You beat me by like 60 I points on the year. And you was bitching about that shit last year, I think, if I recall correctly. Yep. What? Missing? Because I think he playoffs. missed it by, by points. By points. By, yeah. And I, that's how I miss this year. It is what it is. Gotcha. I'm going to hold down the loser Corey bracket. Over there. Yeah, ooh, I mean, ooh, ooh. Corey got ooh, a squad. Ooh. You got a squad, too. Yeah. Right. It might be you and Corey in the final. Maybe. Or it might be him and Ice in the final. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, Corey's team is tough. My on sports, though, like because the media been being so fucking heavy on Kyrie, all negativity, I ain't really seen many people talk about the donation he just put out. Um, Shorty had a GoFundMe up. Mm. A chick trying to stay at Harvard. I mean, ha- excuse me, Howard. Mm. And she put the GoFundMe up and was like, listen, um, you know, they put the amount that they mm. need. I think it was like six grand or something like that. And she had maybe 3,100 of the six grand. Kyrie just went and dropped 22,000 in there for mm. For the whole, just the whole yeah, year. Here. Mm. Yeah. Th- keep doing it. Like not so even, not even. He donates you know, a shit ton of He bread. donates he does. And, and don't look for the, <clears throat> the, the publicity. Yeah, the publicity. It was something else that just happened and um, he paid uh, somebody's shit. Like 80 grand, 70 grand. Like, he just be throwing money around, like, you know what I'm saying? So that's what's up. That's yeah, true. and I, I just yeah. think that, you know, because any if he if he say or do something they don't like, mm-hmm. it's everywhere. No doubt. So, when he do some shit like this, I it just It should think, be everywhere. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, with you. Exactly. I'm with you. So, salute to him. Big jersey. Big jersey. Um, You didn't give us your Cowboys breakdown. Yeah. I called it. First, I was joking. I said that we had a buy. Mm-hmm. But I also, right after that, said, yo, dog, the Cowboys are a headache. You, you ain't the only one that called it. Somebody oh. put a call in too. You think? <laughs> Nigga, I watched that game. Stupid, a phone call came in there and said, Hey, what are y'all doing? Y'all are supposed to lose. Act like it. And they stopped playing. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. I okay. think um the Cowboys just play to the level of competition. Yo, we take everybody light until the niggas you could tell the niggas like niggas focused on in practice. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, we playing Mahomes and them niggas to be up for the challenge. We playing Brady, people will be up for the challenge. When we playing the bad, lose Bears, we going to win by seven. Dog, you saw in the last play, the Hail Mary? I did. The receivers went like this. <laughs> it was seven Cowboys standing there. Mm-hmm. No, The receivers watched the ball. Didn't even try to make a play. For Ain't them. even try to make a play. You know, we can't win this game. We got the call. I hear you. What game are you talking about? The Texans and uh, Cowboys Texas. game. Because they was getting what They was on y'all time. ass and then er, yeah, and slow down. even with that game, I, I don't know what Kellen Moore be doing. You want to talk about Jokers calling bad games? Mm-hmm. The Cowboys could damn near be undefeated this season if he was a better OC. He's horrible, B. And you passed 90 seconds. <laughs> hmm? And you passed 90 seconds. Oh, yeah. I was... Waiting for you. You hold your same position uh, on Tua and yeah, I still like Tua. Her- still like no, Tua. no, that's over Herbert. We, oh. we like we like Tua too. Oh, okay, Tua and Herbert. Uh huh. Yeah, I still like. I, I still would have run it back. I still like it. Fox is so full of shit. I'm not. You cannot watch that game and say that. I don't think you watched the game to say that. Like I watched that game. I saw Justin Herbert put that ball in places that probably only two other people can do it. And Tua, when he's got the plays called correctly for him, was doing the same for fucking eight weeks in a row. Two had 135 yards. Okay, in that game. He also had 400 and something and six touchdowns against the uh, oh. against Baltimore. <laughs> oh, like, it, it is, like, he had a bad game. It happens. And it was a bad play call game. The defense, they jammed the receivers at the line of scrimmage, and they did not adjust. I'm on you until you change your change I'm not going to change opinion. my opinion. Well, I'm ha- like standing, my, me and my team is happy with Tua. Him and uh, the Chargers are happy with Herbert. Fucking uh, Philly's happy with, with I forgot that they was one take apart, Hurts. too, though. Yeah. I forgot it was one pick apart. Cincinnati's happy with uh, uh, Burrow. Burrow, so. You point. don't take two over Burrow. That is not no. what we do in podcasts. We argue about things. No, I was about to say, it I, all, I'm I, was, happy. I was saying how, <laughs> how you judge him with Burrow. Because huh. Burrow is the best dude out that. that yeah, for sure. That, not that a top 10 quarterback. 
Got you. Burrow's Dak is not a top 10 quarterback. Back to you. Is Dallas becoming a team that is winning despite Dak? Now, that sounds harsh. Cowherds. But cow right now, Dallas has <laughs> a top him. three scoring him. defense. He's kind of. 32 teams, him, they're top three. This is an elite I disagree defense. with them a lot, but I love them. They are a top seven rushing team. 32 teams. Top seven. Word. Yet Dak is one of three quarterbacks that has more picks than games started. The other two are Matt Ryan and Davis Mills. You don't care. No, it, you conveniently picked the stat. Yeah. That is his favorite. All right, I thought fine. I'll give me something else. A like, top 10 quarterback is not your biggest problem heading into the playoffs. Like, I, that is not the that. Cowboys' biggest problem. I can think of a few other things that alarm me a lot more. Terrence Steele, right tackle, who's been having a hell of a season, just tore his ACL and his MCL. He's gone. Now you're looking at, even with Tyron Smith coming back, you're probably talking about playing either Jason Peters, who's played on the right side one time since 2005, and it was on Sunday, <laughs> at right tackle through the rest of the year, including the playoffs, or moving... Tyler Smith, who's never done that, the rookie, over to right tackle. That's a hell of a lot more concerning to me. It's concerning to me that Jordan Lewis and Anthony Brown are out for the year. That's two of your top three corners. Trayvon Diggs is nice, but now you're talking about rookies and guys who have never played manning the other side of your defense against the league's best. That is a hell of a lot more concerning to me. The Cowboys are second in offens offensive efficiency since that, since that came back from his injury. Last three games, they lead the league in third down conversion rate. Last three games, they lead the or they're sorry, they're third in the league in red zone conversion rate. They're eighty five percent. I don't care about all of that. I do think you can go far without a top ten quarterback in the uh, it's possible. In the, it's possible. In the I think, but I think that it's, it's a system. Like but, Andy Reid is Andy Reid is a a monster at it. What do you think about what he said? I agree with everything he said. I think that um, I think that the Cowboys don't really necessarily win or lose with Dak, right? I think that. We're the worst penal we're every fucking year. We're the one of the worst penalized teams in the league. Mm -hmm. Pre snap penalties mm -hmm. have cost us games. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like literally, the last game we lost, it was because pre snap penalties in the red zone. We get in first down, bring it back. Get a first down, bring it back. Get you can't keep doing that and win games. Um, some people are happy. No disrespect that Anthony Brown is out. I'm not one of them. I think he's hit or miss. Um, the Lewis shit and then the line. You can't win football games without the line. Facts. Can't, and we and we run the ball pretty well. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? With the combination of Zeke and Pollard, we run the ball well. When you take away linemen, yo, it kills you. Absolutely. So, facts. Remains to be seen. Mm -hmm. All right. That's my sports talk. Dan, you just ain't going to jump in at all, huh? We yeah, trash. Yeah, yeah, my yeah, team, yeah. my <laughs> team is horrible. I like the Giants. They're not horrible. They're I like on, them. They're on the they're on the trajectory. And, and I'm going on record as saying I like Danny Dimes. Hey, yeah. remember everybody had bare minimum expectations for them this year. Yeah, so right. I'm not. I, I've, you can't I can't really be mad. They're starting to quit. I think mentally no, I they're think, starting to quit. I don't think that. No, they I think play. that there's teams are starting to figure them out. Yeah. Rookie coach, kind of similar thing to yeah. what's going on with Mike McDaniel. Eventually, you're going to hit that rookie stumbling Ceiling. block as a coach. You got to make some adjustments because you've been doing whatever you could do. Who y'all got? Who y'all got this week? Buffalo, Saturday, tough game Damn. in Buffalo. Mm. Y'all got a trap game. What's that? Mean? Who y'all got? Nah, don't y'all got Jacksonville, right? Oh yeah, yeah it is. we, we yeah. played like yeah. yeah. We don't really got no monsters except the Eagles left. D Jacksonville is putting up thirty they're not points. Terrible. Yeah, they're not terrible. And, and that's they're another a, that's a sneaky game. Sneaky and they, game. Any defense good? Yeah, they're another on the rise team. Um, anything else? Anything in music? There's yeah, a lot of good a, albums today. Music. I just wait till album number three to tell me about yams. Come on. <laughs> tell you about yams. Oh, <laughs> see, trash. How about I told you when we first got here? Um, I was telling you about QC before that, but um, what, what about? You, oh, Warner. They look like uh, they might sell to Warner for four hundred fifty million. Really? Wow. Can't, can't, can't be mad at that. Bro. Get that money. Four fifty. Can't be mad at that. Get that money. That's what's creating an empire. That's though. amazing. Quick That's ten years. Ten Warner. years. Quick, quick 10 years. Nice. Round of applause to those guys. Half yeah. of Hell yeah. And plus they were doing pretty money, well for those 10 years. Plus all the money years. that they made yeah. during yeah. the 10 yeah. years. And now I can start my catalog from now. Yo, like I'm, not, I'm not done. Mm -hmm. right? Can't I'm telling y'all that. And P to P and P, they, they deserve to be in that billionaire club. He mm -hmm. just, he, ha he had an interview where he was talking about, um, he went to everybody that he knew. 
Like niggas on the yeah, street that he knew, right. mad people that he knew, and he was asking them like, "Yo, get down with this, get down with this. I need a couple dollars. You know what I'm saying? Get uh-huh. down with this." And everybody shut the door in his face. Mm. Nobody had division, and so now, yep. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like that. Yeah, gotta love it. They they earned it. Gotta love it. Gotta respect that. And it gives you the ability to now pivot and do other shit mm-hmm. as well as music. Like mm-hmm. all your eggs, not just necessarily in that one basket. You For know sure. what I mean? You can start fucking with whatever. Fucking uh, Jay Prince just bought an island. Close to Belize, mm. bought the island. Different type of money, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I see stupid ass internet. No, they should have sold for more than that, bro. Like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, you don't know, shut you don't know up. shit about shit. Like, y'all got. I'm with. I'm with Joe. Y'all gotta shut the fuck up sometimes. <laughs> yeah, you, you just gotta come in here and tell them. Yeah, mm-hmm. man, y'all gotta shut up. But yeah, um, so the Sweet Yams remix. Oh wait, before we oh. leave sports, I want to tell y'all okay. this about LeBron because LeBron is hilarious. LeBron says when a fan asks him, uh, when a fan asks if he'll cry when he breaks Kareem's scoring record, he says, if I'd win another championship, I'd cry. Not no scoring record. I didn't even try to break that record. I love it. (laughs) Love it. Come on. What? Come on. Makes sense. I, I like just, it too, even if he's lying. I was just I, assessing what even, exactly. even if he's yeah, lying, yeah, yeah. I think I still because, like it. Yeah, you play It's the up game. on you, Kareem. That's exactly. it, yo. Exactly. It's up. We don't exactly. care about the points you scored and all that shit you did. Oh, now oh, leave it there. Oh, the re- I, I broke that? Leave it there. I don't, I, I don't, I don't, even, I don't even want the game ball. Yeah, I don't do passive aggressive. <laughs> I do aggressive aggressive. Keep that. Keep that. Yeah, nah. I'm just it's up. I'm just doing my job. Yeah, I'm just here, I'm just here to work so another day at work. The points are a byproduct of me just doing my. You got to talk that shit. Brian ain't bad, yo. All right. Bryce, back to you in the music. Yeah, man. Oh, you man put out the big jersey again. Fetty Wap drops the the Sweet Yams remix. Okay, featuring Charlie Wilson and Ronald Isley, bro. Oh shit! <laughs> exactly. God damn! Look at yeah, y'all. I didn't see that. Nah, I got it. I got I got it for you. Don't worry. Wait, I got it for you, you nigga. You knew I had that record. That was the first. Oh, no, got it too slow, My buddy. Hey, too slow, to My man. I'm here. I'm here for it's you. It's all good. We a team. First of all, if I'm a Sago, I'm fucking all these niggas up. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. Yo. Hey. That's not the remix, y'all. It's the wrong one. Yeah. Let, I'm let, playing let me, something let me, with them. Let me Yo, Fetty getting a lot of money. No, that shit sound good right there. No, no, no. Yeah, that's, this the ain't, no this the wrong that's the wrong one. That shit sound all right. I was sitting This one going to the trash. <laughs> this one going right to, you sure you want it? Yeah. I, I, I got you. Yeah, I'm sure. Listen. Yeah, delete. Get out of here. Ew, your phone sound trash. To That's the chord. It phone. always do that. It always, no, it's the chord. It should be low for some reason. Yeah. It's not the chord. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That nigga he always bugging. show off. <laughs> that nigga like the old head version of wine. Yeah, yet. he had enough with Fetty. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Yo, man. that's great. Yes, oh, go. Charlie that's don't great. make no mistakes. I'm a Sago. I'm fine. Right <laughs> <now. laughs> Every last one of them. Shouts to Fetty, man. Yeah, shouts, shouts to, to Wild Bubble. Everybody over there. Shout everybody out, but I'm a Sago. Go ahead. Yeah, man. It's Big Jersey, man. What you want me to do? They, hey, hey, they called. All right. If Jay Z would have called Charlie Wilson and Ronald Isley to get on my Pump It Up remix and not call me, <laughs> you'd have been out of here even more. I'm just saying, how you go get the greatest people in the world on my song and make it your song, and I'm right here still. Listen, I let you get your shit off for, the, for Thanksgiving. You made my shit. You didn't call me or nothing. Yeah, but guess what? You know Slap. they paid, right? Masego Light Publishing. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. I ain't that tripping. Part, I ain't tripping. If you got it back. I ain't tripping. I don't know if he owned that master. I was about to say, he had that. If you don't, it, I'm sure. if you don't own it. It's part of it. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know who else wrote the song with him. Right, that's the producer. God bless. <laughs> yeah, but his instrument is in there somewhere. His yeah, instrument. If, is if, there. I, if we do a song yeah. together and I write the song and you use the beat for a remix, I'm still getting my pub off that bitch. Yeah, that's true, but still. Swag. Nah. <laughs> Just no, trying to hear so that shit. I don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> yo, put you my, yo, yo, put put my, my name, name back on my slap. <laughs> Especially if Charlie Wilson name is on there too. Ooh, we ain't. <laughs> came on there too. He did. That's amazing how he don't never lose his voice. Or, how old is he? Why does his voice still sound like that? And that nigga still goes on tour and makes a shit ton of money. Mm-hmm. God Spe- bless. Speaking of tours, your man went nuts. Yeah. Who that? No, your man. Oh, Bad Bunny? Crazy. But the half crazy a, shit. Half you a billy. See, you see who was number two? No, who was two? Elton John, yo. 
made 300 mil on tour this year. Damn, Ooh. they said Bad Bunny it was the second highest tour, grossing tour and shit, like, ever. In history. Only, I forgot who it was that beat him, but it was like a retirement tour or something that he was on. Mm. You said what? nuts. And they getting Ticketmaster the fuck out of here. What? Who is? Somebody. Yeah, they just caught them doing some more shit. Oh, we're good. Supposedly. That yeah. really tells the audience what happened. I mean, when I say they, when I say they, when I say they, like they're going to be pushing for this breakup, like this monopoly so. that they have on, so. on, they on some bullshit ticket, ticket sales. sales. They be on some bullshit. Because even think, like even with the Bad Bunny shit, not saying that he don't deserve his props, but let's just say he was in bed with Ticketmaster. Just if he was, then you you can't kind of <laughs> then you no can't, you kind of take away from me breaking history if some if it's an asterisk next to it. No, you don't. No, hey, it's still done. Hey, take, take it away then. Did I make seven hundred million? <laughs> yeah, <it> word. <laughs> off uh, five, 55 shows, right? Because he did that shit faster than the rest of them. No, he did yeah, it like did. Um, eighty-one shows or some shit like that. Yeah, faster than them. It was something crazy, yeah. but the numbers was n- sick yeah. th- that he made. Oh, damn. Damn. They put scissor tickets up for Madison Square Garden, and the nosebleeds was five fifty. Yeah, yeah. really. Be. That's how. Yeah, that shout to scissor. She's projected to do like three fifty. Wow, good for her. Dope. That's good. And see what I mean? All y'all that came out day one. I'm not telling you guys. All y'all that came out day one talking about that was mid. Y'all opinions get quieter as the time goes Facts. on. Like when it's real musician musicianship mm-hmm. involved. That'd be my only point. Some of that shit y'all be right about. It'd be mid. Sometimes you got to let it bake a little bit. Since BBL was is too great for trash to come out. That was the first indicator that trash wasn't coming out. BBL's flawless. She, you thought she was about to put out some mid and have that great of a BBL? She ain't go to DR. No. No, no, no. no. She had the recovery house and everything, right? Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. did that. She might not have went nowhere. Hey, mm-hmm. ship, hey, ship hey, all them niggas over yo, here since, since. to my other bedroom. Mm-hmm. Put the sheet down. I might no. bleed a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fucking idiot. Oh, you can't shit. put out no trash with a good BBL. Oh, now. That's uh, what else is in music? What else is in music? There's a lot of good music that came out yeah, today. Shout, Shout out to Absol. Shout to Absol. That's already in my top album. Of the year, I know really that's, that's a very good album. It's a really good album. Ransom and uh, V Don dropped a project. Chaos is my ladder, another great project from Ran. Mm-hmm. Alchemist dropped a project. It's a good day for lyrical hip hop. Yeah. Corey Guns and David Bars, my guys, dropped a project. It was a good, good. Bodie James dropped some shit. I'll talk about it another time. Okay. Bodie James. Bodie don't some stop shit. either. Man. We got we got our first po- posthumous. Is that the word? Posthumous. Uh, yeah. Posthumous. A, a, uh, a posthumous. Dolph, Dolph album. Posthumous. Today. Mm. Post them after the hummus. hummus. Yeah. Mm. After the hummus. Mm. Rest in peace, Dolph. Yeah, rest in peace, Dolph. But that dropped today. Um, you know, in, in, in my wheelhouse mm-hmm. music. Uh Dirk dropped another compilation with the OTF crew. I ain't get to listen to all this stuff. Too much. I like when I wake right? up to nice. I'll listen to the nice sweet lyrical hip hop. Got my day started in a good way. Uh Jacquees drop. Shout out to Jacquees. Okay. King R and B. R and B. You know what I mean? Got a couple slaps on there. Tories on it. That's enough for me. Yeah. Fire. Uh, from what I heard, it was cool. Gotcha. Um, I know Puff and Party dropped. Mm-hmm. Sex in the Porsche. Uh, Chris Brown and Tiger dropped. How you having sex in the Porsche? Porsche is a little too small for me to have sex mm-hmm. in. Yeah. What, what Porsche? Any Porsche. I mean, Cayenne. That's the truck. Way, not the biggest truck. Way though. too small. I'm oh, well, I'm smaller than y'all, Paul. And there's shit in there. Like, it's middle consoles. It's yeah. tight. It's get tight in there. Man, listen. Would you say you smaller than niggas, us niggas, in, niggas, in every niggas, way? Niggas have, got, niggas have gotten it in. <laughs> car sex is not. Car, car sex is trash. Yeah, car, sex is yeah, car sex, shower sex, all that shit trash when you grow mm-hmm. up. Good old bed sex. Mm-hmm. Couch sex. Floor little, sex. Little couch sex. Yeah, floor. Sure. Little floor. I understand how car sex with a condom can make you want to get out of here. I do. I understand how sex with a condom can make you want to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I get it. I've been uncomfortable in there. She trying to show you how to do it because she's a little hoe. <laughs> she done did this shit a million times. Different cars, she different knows all cars. the different consoles. Yo, you yeah. Wait, what, right what suburban here. is this? <laughs> is this, this the one with that? Yeah. What edition? Yeah. Yeah. What edition <laughs> is this? Is this a 2019 <laughs> or 2020? Yeah. Put it in the old body style. No, you Put the back row way. down. <laughs> <laughs> the back row go down. Yeah, there's a button. Back yeah, here. the button. Yeah, that's <laughs> fucking harlot. That's funny. You little hot Jezebel. In my early 20s, I used to be fucking in the cars. Way back then, right? That's what I said. Can you pull the mic closer to you, please? Since you want to whisper way, to me? Way back then, yes. Yeah, let your girl hear that what shit. you're saying. No. It was in his 20s. <laughs> back in the no. K-car. Y'all girls listen to the pod? 
Great Re- words. Religiously. For real. Girl, the religiously. I got here. I knew they did. I was asking if it fell off a little. No. <laughs> my girl listened before I got here. No, my girl loves the podcast. Before pod. I got here. She did. <laughs> yeah, same. My girl's an avid Joe Button podcast listener. My girl loves the pod. When your girl loves you, she just want to hear you, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can't be uh, and she want to make sure you ain't saying no bullshit. You too, yeah. nigga. What the fuck is you talking about? Mm-hmm. They want to police you too. Yeah. What the fuck yeah. you talking about? Why Joe did that? I'd be like, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I just, uh, it's just Joe, huh? Like, yeah, it's just Joe. <laughs> it's funny, my girl be like, well, why they did that? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Hey, buddy, girl. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you like, uh, uh. If the sex is bad in the car and you're making me put a condom on, I'm faking a nut and I'm getting out of here. <laughs> And that's really bad if I have to fake a nut to get faking out Faking a nut with the condom on is easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's what yeah, the condom is there for, yeah. to fake a nut. I don't yeah. trust you. I'm getting out of there. Listen, two things if I got to do during faking sex. Faking a nut without the condom is easy, too. If I got to fake a nut healing. during sex, I ain't supposed to be there. And if I'm thinking about my girl during sex, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> you right. You ever bring out your girl, now you fucking a chick, and now you just thinking about the girl that really touched you the right way. It's like, all right, I shouldn't be here with you. Mm. I, I got Y'all go. niggas lost me at faking the nut. You never faked a nut? You never did that? No. I never did it until I heard a guy say that he does that. I heard men yeah, say that no. they do it. Oh, I, I never tried that. Done that. I just sit there and stroke to death. No. I just want to I'll kill myself. I'll kill myself yeah. and get it out. No, kill, kill, I'm, kill, kill, kill. How the quarterback say when he, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we out of here. We abandoned this whole play. I graduated from you. But you don't use condoms. Okay. How you fake a nut with no condom on? Spit. No, no, I'm not trying. To, I'm asking. You pull out and act like you did in your hand. Who's pulling anything out of anywhere? Just, just act like you. You nutted quick, in. Quick, Shut quick, up. Quick, quick, well, quick, well, yeah. She's gonna well, know if you. I clipped. got clipped. He got clipped. But you so still just... nut? You said. Yeah, you do still nut. I'm not. It could trying, be. It could I'm, be. It could I, be I, this is for education. Right, I'm not right, even right, trying to I know what you're saying, but it could be like uh, the times that I have done it. It might have been like you said. You had a mini around. Yeah, it's been like around or so down the line, somewhat like a couple rounds later. I ain't want to finish this. I'm done. So I ain't shooting. Oh, so you anyway. giving them the seven minutes times five? No, bro. I'm just saying. That's I'm not shooting nothing anyway. <laughs> I'm not shooting nothing anyway at that point. Uh, I've had that happen. Um, with the I'm, condom, you just I don't even you, rip it you, off and you rush. The and, Look, like he's you the man. Shit. No, I'm not the man. I'm, I'm just telling you. I ain't what fucking... he's describing don't sound like the man. No, yes, he does. You rip it off, run in the bathroom. <laughs> that nigga said, yo, we are so many rounds in that ain't nothing coming out. I haven't done that since that's d- I was in my early 20s. You don't drink. That, that, and that might be it. It's shorter than us. <laughs> so we don't Fuck know how does much. that mean? I don't know how much of a come bank your shit hole. You know how like <laughs> no. you know how like they got the small Louis Duffel and the big Louis Duffel. <laughs> Yo, what's girl. wrong with you, yo? I, I don't know. The small Louis Duffel. I don't know how much it comes into it. It correlations to nut. I, it's crazy. You know how crazy I got to go to run out of nut? Word. I got to go crazy right, dog, I haven't myself. done that in a long oh, time, bro. Now, if I don't want to add the sex, I stop it. All right, I'm done. I ain't got to that I'm point. I'm getting up. I, well, I don't know. I'm out of there. Know, but yo, you, really? got, you got it this round. I'm going watching TV. I can get up, grab the remote. I don't think nothing about it. That sounds like a fight. Just mid, yeah. No, just mid sex. Nah, I got. I should have a, a good credit with whoever this is. No, but a lot of times women will feel slighted mm-hmm. if you don't come. You shouldn't base your decisions on what women feel. <laughs> <laughs> You'll play your sleep aside. Yeah, 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 we're not doing that. Yeah, what Cleo Soul did. Word, yeah. word, word. Uh, let me let this snow allegra, man. Come on, what she did? The what sarcasm did? is that sarcasm if I have to explain so, it to you. Uh, yeah. You see, they asked, <laughs> they asked Shaq about the FTX shit. <laughs> he was like, I don't understand crypto. Good answer. <laughs> Good, great answer. <laughs> I don't know nothing about that shit, man. It's a great answer. Hell yeah, yeah nigga. I don't know other. nothing. You supposed to got some other Neo fire, yo. What? Some off his new album? That sent us out. I normally send us out with the song I started. Sometimes. Just, nigga. <laughs> you, you told him this shit was trash in front of his I face. Did right. <laughs> Dog, why y'all keep saying that? I <laughs> did. I did not. Nigga. You did. Neo's my fate. Like, oh, my. We, we heard it before, buddy. <laughs> he we know. Is. We got it. Yo, you know, nah, I fuck with Neo heavy. He, he don't, heavy. I mean, he, he he don't know that, though. <laughs> Everybody know it, but Neo. Oh, man. <laughs> Neo better than all Neo was tripling that. I mean, uh, this was tripling down on that shit. <laughs> yeah, but that record yeah, but, you did with the young boy <laughs> for the round track eight, that's when you really got into your shit. Like, yeah, that's when it was. Well, then he was like, wait, how many tracks are your shit? Ten, right? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no, yeah, 20. It's like 11 joints on there, right? Eight at, at track eight, nine, it really started to pick up. <laughs> Stupid, man. Uh, <laughs> hey, I've done it to it. Hey, yo, keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Hopefully, I feel better, man. Until next time, we bid you adieu. Farewell. Adios. Arrivederci. Hasta la vista. Au revoir. Remember, we are off the last part of the month and the first part of the month. I think that's the... I don't know the days. Y'all last look it up. Last part of the year and first part of the next year. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We are... Which happened to be the last part of the month and the first part of the month this year. It's the 30th and You're the both 3rd, right. man. We won't be here. 30th and 3rd. That's our record days. Yeah. So why are you telling them, man? Okay, about that. So that's the 31st. 31st and, and, and the 4th. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we gone, yo. Keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Bye, the baddies, whatever. I don't know, man. I'm gone. Oh, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Oh. Find that harmony. Wait, hey, that's how you find the harmony. Wait, you hear this guy? Stupid love song. <laughs> Everybody enjoy your weekend out there. Y'all hold it down. We'll be back next week. Same time, same place. Oh, wait a minute. I got parks. Be, be, care, be careful at the mall. Six, two thirty-eight. Huge arm and mobile. Shut up, Kyle. Two nope. eight, six feet nope. tall. Two seventeen. Nope. Not hyper athletic and has been hurt a lot. Tua has recorded six games in his career over three hundred yards. Herbert had eight as a rookie behind the second worst graded O line in the sport. Two is having a better season. Yes, he got a massive upgraded head coach, wide receiver, and left tackle. Herbert has regressed. You want to pause yes. that for a second. You yep. don't like his coach. His left tackle's gone. Okay. Number one, two is record as an NFL starter, twenty-one and eleven, I believe. Justin Herbert's 10. twenty-two. Okay, twenty twenty-one ten. Mm -hmm. Justin Herbert's twenty-two and twenty-three. Okay, let's get that out of the way. Number two, Justin Herbert comes in. You said twenty-two and twenty-three. Correct. Number two. Justin Herbert comes into the league like he's talking about. Oh, uh, Tua has got these weapons now. He had Keenan Allen and Mike Williams and Austin Eckler coming into the fucking That's league. True. He had a you, way better team off rip. And Tua right. won more with a lot less. And his offensive line has the historically lowest graded uh, PFF grade ever. Tua. It's parked. What's happening? He's not. Right, he he's cooked. killing. He, he didn't cooked. cook. He he's, just interrupted to say a bunch of points that didn't reply to his they point. Are you didn't, replying exactly you didn't, to his point. You, you don't know his point because you didn't let him finish. Go ahead. Let him finish. Thank you very much. Center's been hurt. And Keenan Allen and Mike Williams. Well, no, now we got to start from scratch. Look what you did. Now look what you Bert did. Is six, Bert is six. Bert is six. Bert is six. Six. 238. Okay. We'll start from scratch. Huge arm and mobile. Mm -hmm. Two is six feet tall. 217. Not hyper athletic and has been hurt a lot. Mm -hmm. Tua has recorded six games in his career over 300 yards. Mm -hmm. Herbert had eight as a rookie behind the second worst graded O line in the With sport. Two of the best wide receivers. Tua is having a better season. Him talk? Yes. He got a massive upgraded head coach and wide receiver from you. And left tackle. Herbert has regressed. Yes. We don't like his coach. His left tackle's gone. His center's been hurt. And Keenan Allen and Mike Williams are rarely available together. Herbert over Tua, I believe if you asked every general manager privately in the NFL day, today, they would take Herbert. Absolutely. I would agree with that. His point was you judge quarterbacks about how they perform when things are going bad, not when everything is going great. That's all. We'll just keep this ongoing debate Let's do going. It. I'm done. That speaks more to Parks' point, though. No, I, I don't think so. To his team in the first two his years was been terrible. Trash. He gave him two. He had, you gave him two receivers this year that go, and he cooked. He to Parks's point. Yeah, he gave him a lot more than that. I'm just saying a lot more than that. But he gave him better targets. He still has yes. not had Austin Eckler, Keenan. He ain't no never running had game. Eckler. Never had a running He's game. He's never had Austin Eckler. Never had a run game. That matters big time. I would take Herbert because I think long term mm -hmm. he fares better. He just fears about it, in my opinion. I respect time. that, yeah. But two is, it been two is cooking up. I won't, I won't rest until I get Parks on. <laughs> Chris Paul? You going yeah, Chris Paul over Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's I like true. this little battle. I'm cool with it. Yo, y'all hold it down, man. Everybody have a good weekend. What's y'all weekend plans? Anything fun? No, nah, nothing major. Going out. Yeah. I'm, I'm doing a streaming show uh, Saturday night, which tonight. Tonight I'm doing a streaming show. A live Go. show. 8 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Tune Where in. Right? YouTube, Twitch, uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Everywhere. everywhere. It's my little brother's birthday. Happy birthday, Ars. And I'm um, going to turn up with him. 
Where you turning up at? Outside. Where at? In the places you told us we we. <laughs> You niggas do not hear Grammy music, boy. <laughs> <laughs>